You're about to listen to Tadpog. Tyler and Dave play old games. It's a comedy video game podcast. We would like to stress that the hosts are not experts and are really just very crass commentators. Seriously, this is an explicit podcast that happens to talk about video games sometimes. So please enjoy this pretty okay podcast with Tyler and Dave. I have a problem like maintaining the same distance from the mic. Like Hello, I internet. To- Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he, he hit the timer, John. I didn't know. No, you got to give, give me a better one than that. I took it. No, I took a second. So John was like, "Oh, what's up? okay? Hey." <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead. Oh no! <laughs> now I'm this now good, I'm frightened. This is good shit. <laughs> Can we please not have the podcast start this weird? <laughs> Are you? Sh- who are you? <laughs> Dave loves weird. <laughs> Not the new Dave. This is new Dave. New Dave. This is new Dave. Shit. Our season two starring new Dave. Ten Talk season two. <laughs> Finally, after <laughs> 700, 700 episodes. episodes. <laughs> we'll do new Dave for two episodes, then go back to Dave Classic, and everybody's going to fucking love it. Yeah. <laughs> Worked for Coke. Go in Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hello, Internet, and welcome to another Tadpock Podcast. Just a little homespun artisanal podcastery show where two to three to four. Kooky, ooky, spooky boys. Hell yeah. <laughs> Mysterious and spooky. Uh huh. All together, ooky. The Tadpog family. <laughs> So, yeah, um, yeah, no, I, we good? no new theme. Good. Good. Uh, like, right, move right, over, perfect. Sycamore Drive. <laughs> 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 we got a new fucking intro. We got Tampa guys. He back in force. <laughs> That's true. We do. Man, I don't want to be it right now. Can it be something else? <laughs> I've been uh, so it this week. Yeah, I just want to be. You can just be a guy who talks into a microphone. We got Tad Pog Star Trek guys. Hey, there we go. There we go. Yeah. We got the prime directive right in here in Ted Box. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> we have the star of John Buck here. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can sign up for Dot John's XLS. exclusive John Book service uh-huh. where he will send you a Google Doc. Uh, yeah. Excel, Excel Google Doc, is that a thing? With Star Trek memes. So you don't have to be on Facebook. That's true. It is. Yeah. That's y'all on your OnlyFans? Only, only the best. <laughs> only <laughs> <laughs> I personally filter out the trash and, and send put only the best uh, embedded the JPEG. Best. In my spreadsheet <laughs> for people to look at. I would love a, a John OnlyFans where it's just a camera pointed at you, scrolling through your phone, and you laugh, and they just hold the phone up to the camera, <laughs> and then you go back and just keep scrolling until you find something else. And you hold it chuckle. Oh, this is a good one here. <laughs> that would actually work. I here, think we should go. try that. At least as a TikTok. Here you go, at Internet. Least at least as a TikTok, as a TikTok. yes. <laughs> Oh shit! Well, today we're talking about uh, my piggly wiggly game of choice, the Adams family. The Adams family. I rented this so many times I could have just bought it because it was one of two games that my parents would go driving distance to. You know, so it was just like, oh well, you'll be here again in two days for the grocery store anyway. So was the other one Smart Ball? I wish. How, how <laughs> many? Smart Ball was a movie that had exclusive. The other, the other game was Super Mario World, which I had. You got so, it, yeah. Yeah. How many did games they did one? they have? <laughs> how many games did they have at the Piggly Wiggly? Like just, total, just the, just the two Super Nintendo two? games. All sorts of movies, including Playboy VHS tapes. What? But only in the Piggly Wiggly. Yes, that's really? that's kind of where I discovered like one of those moments as a kid. It's just like oh. All right, this is locked in. Was a VHS tape with a a girl just wearing overalls. Yeah, and it was just like, oh, this is the thing now. I this like the, this. This is the thing. <laughs> Core All memory right. obtained. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. yes. In twenty six years from now, this is going to be a real thing <laughs> with my wife. So. <laughs> yeah. But before we get to all that ad family talk, what's up? What's up? What are you guys doing? How's, it, how's everything going? Good. Nothing's really to report. Yeah. Yeah. That's good, I guess. 
hung, but, hung John, some Christmas lights today. That I, was all. I haven't been on in a long time. Uh, I wish uh, I had something exciting to talk about, but I really don't. Like, this is great uh, podcast. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. It's perfect. This is. I'm not happens. worried at all. <laughs> did you like? Did you climb on your roof and put on like Christmas lights? Well, I was up on a. No, I didn't put them on the roof. Um, we just have those icicles. Like the yeah. icicle like things ones, yeah. that we hang, I hang up under the gutter, you know, around the yep. there, and we hang them low on the porch as well. But I didn't get to that part yet. I just wanted to get the ones that were up high. And then we got, you know, we tested them. Half of them didn't work. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, we had bought another box, so I hung those. And my wife was very uh, happy about that because uh, I've been putting that off for a couple of weeks. And the closer we get to Christmas, the more antsy she gets. <laughs> so she like gave me that. We'll go out on the front porch to smoke and the lights are still out there and she gave me that sidelong look like when the when the fuck are you gonna hang these lights motherfucker <laughs> so today i took off work early and hung the lights and that is all i have to report <laughs> it's pretty good <laughs> so i also hung some lights um, God, he hung i, I all showed the you guys lights. um I've seen them so both. i do they have dig. a little bit clark griswold uh, over here <laughs> 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 that is i want to dude i want to i want to make that uh i, I want to take I've never made a Christmas card that yeah. I like, sent out to everybody, yeah. but I do want to go like full ham on the house and then yeah. take a uh, put it on John. Book. I want to get yeah, yeah, it'll totally be on John book. <laughs> if, if I ever do this, I fucking promise you it'll be on John book. Um, I'll help you. Let's make it a reality. I want to I want to take a picture with uh, me holding the chainsaw above my head with the hockey mask yeah. on, and my wife uh, dressed as much like Beverly D'Angelo as she possibly can. And just have like the whole family, you know, as kind of as the Griswolds uh, in front idea. of this very, very lit up house. But so when I was hanging my lights, I, I had to clean the gutters too, right? Mm. So like as I was cleaning the gutters, and I got to actually rewind a little bit. It, it took me a really long time because the last time I got up on a ladder, I fell off that Yes, yeah, so I was ladder. just going to say. So I was like... We had to work up to super it. gun shy. Like yeah. I bet I there was multiple times where I bet I spent like it's weird for a you to solid, say gun shy. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> 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 Not typically shy of guns, but um, ladder on the other hand. Oh man, that ladder, ladder shy. Yeah. That ladder <laughs> fucked me up, dog. <laughs> like, Shoots, it's, I'm fine with. It's like a, <laughs> <laughs> but like. Uh, I bet I spent like a solid five minutes like getting the ladder set, you know, like does mm. this is it wiggling even a little? Is it and like I'd step up a few steps, like feel it out? Like, am I okay? Well, I had before. What's, what's your so ladder? I was story? cleaning the gutters and I was in the backyard. Uh and nice. I was just I was just up there cleaning the gutters. <laughs> and it's like a it's, <laughs> it's like a but yeah. it's really yeah, four, clean those gutters out in the mm. backyard, boy. Yeah. Dig in there. Yeah. No, don't, I was, wear, don't I was, wear gloves. Don't yeah, wear gloves. I, got, I was uh -uh. getting my home hands from work. I haven't showered. All up in those gutters. Uh, and they were dirty. They were dirty. <laughs> <laughs> but so right. I hadn't cleaned them in a really long time. So and in in the back, I bet it's probably like 14 feet up, you know. And I was having to get up like almost chest level to the gutter mm -hmm. to be able to reach down into them and, and scrape everything out of there. And I was just kind of rushing. I wasn't really paying attention. And I knew yeah, it was you gotta like be American. A, yeah, that's that's it's really important yeah. in, in yeah. Russia. Yeah. Yeah. Or at least British. Um, <laughs> 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 so like I'm I'm you know trying to go as fast as I can, and I could tell the ladder had like just a tiny little bit of wobble in it, but it didn't feel that bad. So I like got on up there and like. I made the mistake of like really reaching. Yeah, so like, like all my do. weight, like you do all my weight was way over on one side mm. and it went a little bit and it was just enough. And I'm lucky that I guess I didn't bring the die gun down or die. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the ladder Dave's. falls, <laughs> the ladder falls and I land on the ladder. Ooh, so, and wow. it hit me like Ooh. right sort of in the, between my back and it's hard to explain, like under my arm, ribs, but more toward the back. The bunder ribs. And it straight knocked the breath out Ooh. of me. And it was one of those where I was like, my brain was just like, stand up, stand up. If you can stand up, you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, walk it off, walk it off, bitch. You my know? brain would have been like, finally. <laughs> <laughs> it's come to this. But I bet I walked around in the backyard. <laughs> 
like trying to catch my breath and making sure that I could still walk for like a solid five minutes. And it, it hurt. It hurt real bad. Like I thought I had probably broken a rib. But I went to the doctor and they like checked it out and they're like, no, nah, you, you bruised some real bad and you may have like a minor fracture, but you're okay. You know? And I was like, all right. See, I would have been like, go ahead and take two hurt. out so I can suck my dick. <laughs> Is that Marilyn, Marilyn Manson, Manson thing? Me. Yeah. yeah. And Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> that's what Castlevania 2 is about. <laughs> oh, that's what it's about. Uh, yeah, so I was like real, real pensive about getting way up on that ladder again. Uh, so yeah, it I took bet. me a really long time. I haven't even fallen off a fucking ladder, and I don't like getting on them. <laughs> I wouldn't. I don't know. Maybe I'm afraid of heights, but I don't. I hate go, getting on the fucking ladder and like getting on the roof and shit. Oh, I didn't. If it something used to bother me. <laughs> something gets on the roof, it's on there. I mean, look, the, this part of town is, that we live in, especially on our side of town, we live in basically fucking Endor. I mean, there oh, are yeah. trees everywhere. They God. drop. Oh, where the Wookiees live. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> what? The Wookiees what? don't live on Endor. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no, it's the teddy bears. The teddy bears live on it. My they, trees out uh, front. Uh, uh, actually, they live on a moon of Endor. <laughs> moon of Endor. <laughs> Melissa and that's I true. watched. Is half. it the moon or is it <laughs> actually? No one knows. Okay, okay. I just actually, sure. somebody does. I just don't. Did they say the forest moon of, of Endor? Endor? Right. Is it the, is the moon of Endor, Endor of Endor or is the moon or they named Endor? Describing the moon. I don't know. Have that's named the, Endor. Have you seen like, the holiday special? No, I haven't. Oh, Melissa okay. and I Listen watched half episode. of the riff tracks for the holiday special. She was blown <laughs> away. She had no idea it existed and was. I have access to it. Flabbergasted. And I really need to watch it. <laughs> watch it with the riff tracks. <laughs> okay. Commercials yeah, yeah. and all. Yeah. 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 Okay. Again, it's in the episode ahead Tobar. of what you're on. Right. When we talk about Time it. Time travel. But yeah. So, the, yeah, please. The, I was just going to say the leaves that come off of my tree are as big as pumpkins. I mean, they're this big. You yeah, know? yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, I saw one come off yeah, your truck. I clean them up because like a leaf star from Land Before Time. Exactly. <laughs> They're so huge, and you got to stay ahead of it. So I'm always up on the ladder cleaning the gutters and shit. And yeah. I'm with him. You know, you you do that enough, you you lose perspective, and then fall, and it's like, mm. have you fallen? Or you're no, just waiting I have. I'm waiting for that to happen. Maybe anxiously. a harness system. Man. Well, I, I went to Lowe's the other day to find some hooks, you know, like to put so it would to replace the hand the that you lose when you fall off the ladder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it would hold the ladder stable on the gutter, sure, but I couldn't yeah. find the hooks. Oh, I would, don't trust my gutters. I think they just rip right the fuck off the off. house. Yeah, absolutely. How old are these guys? Uh, my, my neighbor Terry with the big dick. He's always telling me. Um, <laughs> How? Just, just put your dick up the the chute here over here and just snake it, it out. Snake, Terry, snake we it. can't all do that. <laughs> you fucking big dick country bastard. Jesus, go back huh? to your fucking. I, I know I should know this. Really but satisfied wife. How do you know yeah. this? Your I've neighbor seen has it. He was peeing leaders. out in the back and he was flopping it around to dry it off. <laughs> <laughs> Look, looked like a fucking grizzly bear wrestling a salmon out of this fucking stream. <laughs> <laughs> or I guess maybe a trout. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Welcome to Kentucky. <laughs> I mean, it was my fault. I went back there to tell him thanks for something, and I was like, "Well, fuck, that'll teach me a lesson." <laughs> sure. no. When he's back there, that's dick time. <laughs> never, now say, I know. never say thanks to Terry. You might see his giant dick. <laughs> well, now you have to thank him twice. God, so now he's just Terry, you, the giant dick neighbor, you. from yeah. now on. Right? Yeah. I thought I was at the airport, and it was like a windsock or something. <laughs> Tell the fucking direction of the goddamn wind on this shit. Why do you have one of those wacky arm flailing inflatable tube men in your backyard? Oh, oh. oh wow. Congratulations, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't wanna that's you don't wanna lose now. this, man. Yeah, I lost this a lot of, <laughs> that's a thing now. I lost a lot of stuff on that. Oh yeah, okay. So that's it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Have cool. you all been to like a elementary school a Christmas festival or anything like that recently? Not, Not a recently. I know John has. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, about a month or two. It was more of a fall yeah. festival, mm. like uh, more Those are around better. Halloween. Oh shit, dog! Cake, cakewalk. More a Halloween thing. No, oh, no. that was all my fall festivals did, were about. Just fucking cake. Do they do so, those anymore? I don't know. I haven't thought. I, I thought that was just an expression. You want to have one? You have one at prom this year? We'll have a ten punk cakewalk. I do. Oh, yeah. I do. I used to walk out oh, of those fall should. festivals with so many goddamn cakes. I mean, we I, should, I'd want them all the time. We should have like a, a Tadpog prom potluck thing where everybody like brings something. 
I don't like potlucks. I mean, if, you, if people want to do that, that's cool. But I'm every anytime at work, they're like, "We're gonna have a potluck," and I'm like, "I'll bring the chips and then eat McDonald's." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all put your hands in all that food. I don't. That's fine. I don't even know Jim. I don't fucking know where he lives. I'm not gonna eat his chili. <laughs> I just. I was gonna make a cake. That's. <laughs> 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 I'll eat your cake. I know where you live. Okay, so yeah. if I make a cake, you'll you'll sample some of the cake. Well, now it's <laughs> weird, and maybe not. I feel like it's an orange juice cake. It's like the only cake I know. Oh, okay, all right. Because what was it? Your like, I've had you made your you made, made your mom's orange yeah yeah it was my, it was, my it was my aunt's orange juice cake. Oh, okay. That's a good cake. Yeah, I've had that cake. cake it's a solid, I feel like it's like a solid cake. Tyler's mom does a strawberry cake. That's a fucking <sighs> yeah. It's a fucking great cake. So, sorry, I don't want to like straight turn this into cake talk. But, uh. <laughs> no, it's cake cast. We can do cake, cake cast. cast. So uh, a guy that we work with, his mom makes cakes like professionally, right? Like, I mean, it's who Seth. Oh, um, so uh, like you have to tell her like a month or two in in advance that you want her to make a cake. She's for booked, you. Yeah. and it's like she a, knows how many cakes, dude? It's a fucking monstrous cake. It's a big, round, multi-tier cake, right? Uh -huh. um, Mario RPG style. Yeah. 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 Um, so cake. strawberry cake was <laughs> like my favorite cake, and I always wanted a strawberry cake until one of the guys at work for his birthday... He Shit asked for in a, one, <laughs> and you had to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Goes over easy. That would ruin me on strawberry cake, cake is the, all I'm saying. It was the help cake. Yeah. 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 Or <laughs> the help pie. Or... <laughs> Turn on a new fetish. <laughs> one or the other. Maybe. Yeah, you never it's like, go either way. It's like French I feel like it's a 90-10 on whether or not it's going to go that way, but it might be that 10. You don't know. It could be. You know I mean, yeah, you uh, are rolling the dice literally anytime you try something new. Uh, but he got a carrot cake, <laughs> and man, man my love, fucking like favorite cake, cake is carrot cake now. Carrot cake is Fuck good. Yeah. Holy good. shit. Fuck it yeah. was amazing. It was incredible. And now I just want that. Fucking carrot cake! <laughs> like every time somebody makes a cake, I'm like, it was good. But, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't Seth's mom's carrot cake. <laughs> so, yeah. How does your wife feel about that? She doesn't make cakes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she said it works out. Really you're not, you're not getting here, out. so go get it somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> All right, fine. That's like, a good philosophy. <laughs> it works that for is the a cake. Good philosophy. <laughs> you like pineapple? I do like. Yeah, I like pineapple. Okay. I uh. You're gonna love my cup days. I get Tanya to make it. like that. Cake. <laughs> Uh, no Tanya, one saw this. everything, anything like when you tell me you're like, "Hey, Tanya makes a good whatever," I fucking believe it. Like, yeah, you, she's well, a good Ian's cook, not a liar. Of course, we believe. No, it. no, but I just mean he's I've seen, had he's sampled of Tanya's the food oh, used, yeah, I got you. that I'm like, yeah, okay. Excuse me. I literally paid. I, I literally paid Tanya to make me some chicken salad one time. Like, I I was like, tell me how much it costs for everything that you need to make me like two pounds at least of this chicken salad. And I brought everything to her at, and like, she told me what to buy, I think. Mm -hmm. And I brought it all to her and she made me chicken salad. And I ate that shit for like a straight week. Like I didn't eat anything else, man. I woke up for breakfast and I ate chicken salad. I had it for lunch and I had it for dinner. Probably gained <laughs> a few pounds too. Cause oh, that shit yeah. is the worst. <laughs> That's going to be so bad for you. It's what makes it good. But yeah, it's yeah so that's why it's delicious. We Casey, got Casey made a hot chocolate with sweetened condensed milk last night. Holy fuck. Yeah. Holy fuck. That was amazing. We got a Popeye's turkey. I want to tell you. Yeah. You did? We got oh, nice. one. And we are making it this weekend. I was, Woo. had a horrible day at, at Henry's yeah. like, uh, elementary school Christmas fair where it's just like. You guys just like lines, right? You like standing in lines for hours for no reason? How else do we celebrate the holiday season? <laughs> <laughs> of course I do. I love standing in a big crowd of people yeah. in a line just waiting to get somewhere I don't want to be. All these unvaccinated For 10 kids seconds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So my kid can throw three balls and it'll take five seconds uh -huh. and we'll be in another fucking line. I love it. Yeah. Uh, I'm familiar. Yeah. And he's saying <laughs> things like, Dad, don't stop touching me. And it's like, man, dude, I don't even want to fucking be here, man. I'm, I'm going to fucking touch you if I want to touch you. <laughs> and then people are like, officer, this man. <laughs> but we got to, yeah, like, so when we got back, I was like, 
Sweetie, you got to make that turkey this weekend. That was just awful. Uh, the turkey needs to take the bitterness off of this evening. <laughs> we need a good recovery turkey. Uh -huh. When you say make, what does that mean? Because I figured it would have been made. Good question. It's frozen, but already pre-cooked, so it's, all you have to do is warm it up. Oh, it's seasoned okay. and all that. Yeah, you just got to gotta, okay. yeah, warm it up. All right. Sweet. So we're going to do that. It's supposed to I'm be excited. from all the TikToks I've seen. It's fucking great. I'll report back. Yeah. I'll report back. I have you know high expectations. So I'm sure I won't Wait. be disappointed. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure it'll be fine. Actually. It's the key to not being disappointed. Yeah. Have just unimaginably. It's expensive. Expectations. Now is this a yeah, whole? Like it's like bucks. forty bucks, right? Or yeah, something. they were like they cut us a deal, which makes me a little worried that maybe we got like a scratch and dent turkey. But whatever. <laughs> this uh, has definitely been on the floor. Yes, uh, with I'm the sorry. dog yeah. sir. Do you mind? Uh, we he, have we have this model that he, is within <laughs> your price range, <laughs> sir. You want to be sure you get this one to one sixty five. Okay. Like maybe sure. 170, just to be on the safe side. Sir, have you had all your shots? No, no. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, is it is it a full you, is it a full it's a, bird? It's a big ass turkey. I'm ready to get like out with of the legs fridge. and everything. Like the whole thing, that I don't. I haven't opened it. Oh, okay. It's in like in a bag. I, th I think it is. I think it's a full. It's a big. It's yeah, a big yeah. fucking bag that's taken up one entire shelf in the fridge. <laughs> okay. Um. So yeah, I'm ready to eat that. I'm ready to eat that. That's just gonna be Thanksgiving all over again. Oh. Yeah. You make those leftover Thanksgiving oh, turkey sandwiches boy, with that those. fucking pie pie yeah, turkey. It's going to be that amazing. Shit. It is. I'm excited for you. I might come to your house. Come to my house. <laughs> I don't think he'll have enough. It come sounds like house. it's kind of small. Come to my house. Yeah, super small. <laughs> Scratch and dent. Tiny turkey. Yeah. I don't know why they cut us a deal. Because Nikki got home and she was like, it was only like, I think she was like $38. And I don't know how much turkeys are. So I'm like, $38? <laughs> she said, we For got... For a bird? <laughs> yeah. Does it talk? Right. We got a rate. <laughs> and she's like, oh, that's a good deal. I was like, Is it a phoenix that will come back right? after we kill it? <laughs> I'm in the wrong fucking business. <laughs> turkeys cost $40. It's an expensive bird. You can go to a pet shop, get a couple of them for that. <laughs> now I know why people hunt. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, for real. <laughs> I'd shoot a turkey. I don't give a shit. I, I, know I killed $300 worth of the turkeys out here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know what friend of the show, uh, Super Metroid fame, our friend McElwain does. He, he hunts and kills a wild turkey. Every year. Oh, for, for Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving? Yeah. yeah. Wow, I know, that's he's, hardcore. It, he's got the giant <laughs> hunting property land where yeah, yeah. country stars come and hunt on it. So, yeah, yeah, okay. Man. Has Kid Rock been out there yet? <laughs> 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 I thought I had some joke about vagina and country girls, but it went nowhere. So I just <laughs> sputtered for a second and just said nothing. You didn't even make wonderful it. Wonderful podcast. It landed, it landed for me, baby. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, no. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Well, uh, you guys want to talk a little bit about the Adams family? Yes. I suppose. I suppose. I do. I, I must. Of course, I'm resuming my role of not the guy who comes on the show Audience and doesn't surrogate. know a goddamn thing about the game that you guys have played uh, and will probably ask some really terrible mm -hmm. questions. But you know about the I Adams family. I do know family, about the right? Adams family. I have seen the movies. Was uh, Wednesday Adams part of your sexual awakening? Oh, God, yes. Of course. Uh, mm -hmm. Christina Ricci? Yeah, oh, of course. Still, to this day. S tier. <laughs> no. Yeah. I had yeah, this yeah, conversation. We're the same age, roughly. Uh, I'm, I think she's a little... I think she's 41... 42, maybe. So, yeah, she's uh, right in Oh, there. you got to tell them about... Uh, uh, you got to tell them about the, uh, the Saved by the Bell thing. Where you you were on the podcast and you were like, I don't I, I don't feel like I'm comfortable talking about these girls because you know they were significantly younger than me or whatever. And like I listened to that episode on the way into work. So when I got oh, to yeah, work, yeah, yeah, I yeah. started sending him the Wikipedia's of like Tiffany Amber Thiessen and uh, uh, <laughs> oh, who's the girl that played Lisa Turtle? They're and, my age. Yeah, Clark they were Voorhees. almost all within a year of Ian's age. Like. In real life, you so know, I even the B tier, bad. even the B tier girls that you guys did were all I was like, every one of us was like, you don't have to feel bad at all, man. I told them I, it <laughs> was like early, were way older than high school girls it was, when they were playing high school girls. It was early in the morning when he sent me those pictures, and I was like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I needed, I needed that. Well, right into my day. 
I need to I bring need it Elizabeth up. Elizabeth Berkeley's Wikipedia page. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody fucking likes Jesse. I'm, I'm sorry. I know I you know. like Jesse. Yeah, I know yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. I know. I know you do. <laughs> hair, man. I'm hair. Hey, no, hair, she hair got guy. that curly hair, hair though. Yeah, yeah, man, she really did. The Adams family. Adams family. You have you seen it? Have you guys seen the Adams family? Are you familiar with this property? Yes. The Adams family? Very familiar with these properties. Yeah. I'm not this very property. familiar with it, but yeah. I mean, vaguely. It, it was like, it at least. So. everybody I knew when we were talking about like old school, hor- uh, like comedy horror, the Munsters versus Adams That's family. what I was just about to say. I was going to bring it up. Munsters Adams, versus family Adams family for me all the way. I love the Munsters. Don't get me wrong. Rob yeah. Zombie's getting ready to reboot it. That's I think it's going to be pretty great. That's what I hear. It looks really cool. Yeah. But Adams family is where it's at for me. I love it. Love it, love it. Which has the better theme song, The Munsters or Adam's Family? Those, well, The Munsters didn't really have, I like The Munsters theme song better because it didn't have words. Yeah. I like, yeah. I know nothing about The Munsters. Okay. Absolutely zero. The family, but there were monsters. That's it. You know, That's all you need to know. Dad was Frankenstein. Mom was a vampire. Uh, okay. Lily was the mom. Good job. I can't remember. Uh, Grandpa name. was her dad. They, of course, he's also a vampire. Uh, and then Makes their sense. son is a werewolf. What was his name? Eddie. Eddie. Uh, and then they had a cousin who was just a regular woman. Uh, <laughs> just a regular-ass woman. And they lived in town in a house, and they were just monsters, and they had jobs and shit, and they, were just, <laughs> they just tried to uh, live in their world. And that was it. We need a crossover event, Munsters Adams Family. Uh, Why has that not happened? I don't know. Do it Squid Game style. Like I don't saying, know. Let's do a Coke make it and sexy Pepsi somehow. crossover. <laughs> <laughs> but the uh, Fred Gwynn was um, Herman Munster, and uh, he was real, you know, slapstick. Is that he was a Wait. Frankenstein monster? They had a dragon that lived under their yeah. stairs. That's what that's what got me. That's what that pulled really me in cool. as a kid. Because I was as a kid, I was a, more of a monsters guy. No, yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Lurch is that's Adam's, Adam's, that's Adam's family. family. Adam's. Okay, okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. I remember what that Herman monster was turned into a uh, a Frankenstein's monster because Lily loved him, but didn't want to curse him with. The immortality of a vampire. So Grandpa did it. Grandpa, yeah, yeah. So they that's Herman why they, Herman is grandpa's creation. Yeah. So why mm. he, he died, so he brought him back as a sex doll monster for, for his daughter. Little, Basically yes. normal. That's <laughs> pretty much what it is. normal. <laughs> My dear, I didn't want your pussy to be lonely, so I made you some <laughs> dick. Yeah. A dick golem. <laughs> I had seen. He will stretch that shit, my dear. I promise. <laughs> if you find it not fulfilling, I can add more. He is modular. I, yeah, there's a dial. <laughs> Set the wall scraping to eight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the monster's car was I'd, really cool. Was that the Dragula? The Dragula. Okay. Yes, yeah. yeah. the big dragster. Um, and. Yeah, so I mean, there's a lot of things I love about the monsters. Sure, I just liked the Adams family more. Kind of has more staying power. They were a little right? darker, you know. They were just a little more, a little more seedy. Well, so I'm just thinking, still thinking of the settings on Herman Munster's cock for like an inkling, <laughs> a tickling, and then cervical scrape. <laughs> cervical scrape, yeah, cervical punch. Actually, well, what I, what I love about the Adams family is recently uh, I saw that. The intention behind the Adams family was to take an inverse over what was popular at the time. Mm, mm. So, of course, they're spooky and live in an old house, but Kooky. like they're rich, where most like the honeymooners and things of the, at the time poor. are poor. Right, absolutely. They hate their wives. So, they Gomez love each is other. all they're about They're absolutely yeah, in is love completely. and. Devoted, Kamiya. he's athletic mm. and intelligent, and the opposite of the, the dumb husband at the time. Like mm-hmm. he's, they're a perfect inverse, and that's what makes it fucking fantastic. Uh, and and, and that, I never thought about it, that. It, angle. It, I hadn't either. It's, that's a really cool angle. And and the movies, to me, I've said this before on this show. Uh, those movies could not have been more perfectly cast, oh my yeah. God. perfectly executed. Yep. I watch those movies to this day, mm-hmm. and still, just the writing and the execution. Uh, 
Christina Ricci as Wednesday Adams is it's, literally that's the brilliant pitch stroke of the pitch century. Yeah, it is pitch perfect. Uh, she's fantastic. She's perfect in that role. Deadpan, it, oh just my like God. Yeah, it's yeah, so good. Perfect. Uh, and that's why I love those movies. And and Raul Julio, Raul Julio holy man. fuck, yeah, dude. Yep. God rest his soul. I love that man's work, but oh, yeah. everything he did to me was great. Yeah, but. That to me was the he put himself in that role for real, and he carried it to the end brilliantly. There will be, there will never be another Herman, or excuse me, another uh, Gomez that strikes it the way he did for me. Yeah, right, hundred percent. So good, yeah, so I, good. I think it's interesting that in the game, which is definitely a movie tie-in, yes, that. You play as Gomez in the game. Chibi Gomez. Chibi Gomez. Chibi Gomez. But that's that right. sprite is absolutely one hundred percent based on John Aston. Uh, oh, it is one thousand because it's the T. It's it. in the T. Absolutely. Teeth. And I learned today the pinstripe suit and yeah, totally. Yeah. I learned today that Sean Aston is John Aston and Patty Duke's fucking yep. son. Yep. What? Whoa. Actually, <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, it's Whoa. true. Uh, actually, now Tanya was telling me about this. This was years ago. What I was thinking was that Patty Sean Aston is not, or John Aston is not Sean Aston's natural father. Okay, he is Sean Aston's stepfather. Gotcha. But Sean Aston took on his, his name. name. Okay. So I don't think they're oh, blood related, gotcha. but they're definitely related. I did, by but I had no. I, I mean, if if it, it, I, if that's one of the things that I knew, my mind was definitely like when I was learning like how to like I don't know find the best pornography. My brain's like, hey, just delete that. It's fine. You don't. Need, <laughs> that's information you don't need to know unless you do a podcast and uh, show up then. Uh, but yeah, that was like one of those where it's like, holy shit. And then I was like, I went down like this rabbit hole because like. So Sean Astin is Patty Duke's son. Yeah. Yeah. What? I know. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I love that great. shit. Yeah, All right, man. I know it's fucking wild, isn't it? Blew your mind. You did. Well, see, you I, fucking blew my mind. And by the way, just real quick, yeah, yeah. I don't don't get me wrong, Sean, uh, John Aston. Yeah, obviously the consummate Gomez. Mm. I just think that Raul Julia took it to yeah, the next I mean, level and made it that much more relatable as a character for me. Great casting. I, I exactly. Like, but I like. I don't know, man. I like Night Court. I like. I got like a. Sure. There's like a. I have a soft spot in my heart for John Aston, and it's like I get that Night Court, and then like um, Mr. Boogity. I don't know if you guys have seen Mr. Boogity, but it's like this Disney so. Halloween special that I okay. watched in the Bible Girls uh, basement. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, How much uh, that game did you have to play for that one? <laughs> Uh, you know, or usually, was that a, free, a freebie? We, we just get, we play, and then we just get to watch. Like we just get okay. to cram okay. Little Shop of Horrors and Mr. Gotcha, Boogity gotcha. and like I don't know <laughs> creepy <laughs> shit that we were into. Because <laughs> yeah. I had, of course, like, I'd seen the monsters. I'd seen the show. Yeah, had no idea the Adams Family was a show of that era. I saw the. 90s the movies. Oh, yeah. so you didn't realize that was based no on No clue. I thought, else. oh, this is cool. It's a whole new thing. And then... Wow, that's crazy. And then years later, I, was, I saw like, oh, The Adams Family. I was like, oh, this is a movie? What the fuck is this? This is like the real Ghostbusters with the with the eight. <laughs> like, what, what's going on? The uh, Yeah, in the original TV show, I, I thought The Munsters was a lot funnier, but something about The Adams Family just always... Felt right to me. Yeah. I just liked watching it. I liked. It. I just enjoyed having it on. But I loved the monsters too. I mean, I think those are two really amazing shows that were way ahead of their time. Mm. And uh, I'm glad they're around. I'm glad for I'm the so, Adams family. I'm sorry to like rewind things a little bit, but what was the Please. Night Court? You mentioned Night Court. Like, what was the Night Court tie-in? John Aston was on Night Court. He was on Night Court. Yeah. Who was he? Uh, I don't remember any of the characters' names. Uh, let me but look. I mean, like, I remember him being on it. Maybe yeah, I'm wrong. I can't remember it either. I, I feel like I. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't think you're wrong because I remember that. I'm, too. I'm sorry. I hate to do that. But. Bull would have been a good Lurch, though. Oh yeah, he yeah, would. totally. By the way, Lurch uh, is Mister Holm in Star Trek: The Next Generation. He's Waxana Troy's. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he is. That's right. Yeah, he's. It's like uh, his, his her her attendant. Yeah, yeah, like personal assistant, mm -hmm. sort of. Yeah, Waxana Troy being Troy, uh, 
Counselor Deanna Troy's mom, who is obsessed with Captain Picard. He has a, a vague understanding yeah. of these people. John um, Aston had a reoccurring role as Buddy, Harry's biological dad. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay, okay. I was trying to place him like in the cast, and I just couldn't. I couldn't. It's been a long time. Yeah. That, and that's one where it's like talking to like theme songs, like the Monsters oh. theme song. Night Court, like that one was like, <laughs> dude, I, as a kid, never ever would have watched that show if that theme song hadn't been oh, that no theme shit. song. Like, I, I'm not a big sax, sax guy. Yeah. Know what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't usually like love saxophone, but man, that, uh, that theme is yeah. fucking incredible and it is burned into my brain. <laughs> yeah, man. I remember being like seven years old and like being at a parade and the marching band was playing that. <laughs> And I was like, I definitely want to do that when I'm older. It's the first thing I learned how to play on the bass. Nice. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. And I remember you playing Kids in the Hall, uh, Shadowy Men from a Shadowy Planet yeah. on your bass. Is that right? Apex, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Damn. Man, I like old TV. <laughs> old TV is <laughs> old TV is oh yeah, old TV is good. Old TV is good in a weird way. Old TV is good in like this weird like it disposable you back. way. Mm -hmm. Your mm -hmm. sense of humor changes almost through that time period when you're watching something like mm -hmm. that. And that's why I don't I don't know. It's kind of weird because it's like if some of this shit hadn't played on Nick at night, like when I was a kid, mm. I wouldn't even find it funny at all. Yeah, I would have missed, missed out. out. But also, I it, because I'm watching this shit as a child, like Mr. Ed. Uh, right. Mr. Ed I watched as a kid, and it's like, Mr. Ed is like not something that I would find funny now <laughs> if I had never seen it no. before. In my, you know right. what I mean? Exactly. I'd be like, Okay, we get it. It's a fucking horse and he talks. Okay, that's the joke. That is the <laughs> joke that this show has. How many seasons did they stretch that one joke out? There's a <laughs> like, few. You're going to give that horse a heart attack with that peanut butter. Fucking get it out of its mouth. <laughs> Man, uh, so I'm on like season eight of MASH. Like I'm rewatching MASH. You love MASH. I that's, do love MASH. Love some but MASH. here's the thing that like I didn't, I watched MASH as a kid. Like my dad. Dad would watch it, and I would just watch it because I watched whatever was fucking. We had one TV, <laughs> you know. I watched oh, what yeah. fucking Dad was watching. Remember that, yeah, yeah, and and he liked Mash, so like I watched it, and like the <laughs> amount of shit that went over my head. Like now that I'm rewatching it, I was mm -hmm. like, I was like, okay, uh, I get why Dad liked this show, <laughs> you know, because I missed a lot of it. Well, and there's so like, much I just like didn't get it in all know? those old shows. There's so much like double entendre that you don't yeah. understand yeah. when you're a child, and you go back and watch as a adult, and be like, oh my lord, this is kind of raunchy, you know? <laughs> yeah. Especially oh, yeah. there's Mash, plenty of that stuff other. in there. But I mean, even going back to some of the old shows like Patty Duke and My Three Sons, yeah, I and loved all Patty Duke. Oh, fucking man. Love Patty. I had a <laughs> Crush on they Patty look the Duke. Same, you guys. <laughs> cousins. I didn't know identical cousins were a thing. That's what jokes were. That's yeah. what they were. And people were like, "This is funny." <laughs> the husband and wife sleep in separate beds, and they're identical cousins. This man is a single father. What? <laughs> There's no woman. No woman. <laughs> It's fucking that get the fuck out of here. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Comedy is one of those things where it's like it's so rare that it ages well enough that like a few generations like can experience it mm -hmm. and be like, oh man, this is like Three Stooges, I think is a really good oh, example. Oh my God. And, I yeah, yeah. love well, see, Three Stooges. I don't. And oh, I, do you not? I don't. Oh, God. And it's and I'll tell you why. I never saw it as a kid, uh, so I have no affection uh, for yeah. it. See, so like, see, I'm the exact I get it. same way. Seeing it as it. an adult, I'm just like, this is stupid. Yeah, this is wild. Okay. Yeah, right. no, I, would, I did <laughs> see it. eyes would be gone by now. <laughs> this is silly. I would go to my grandmother's house and stay with her for a week or whatever over the summer, yeah. and every night their local station would show a marathon of the Three Stooges. It yeah. was all night, and I fucking sat up and watched that shit and just cackled loved it that's why I but to your point that's why i love it today if i just saw it for the first time it'd be like what the fuck is this shit right this is dumb but right now if i watch it i'm i could go in there right now and watch two hours of it without 
Good. Missing a beat. Rough. Challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. You bringing drugs too or not? <laughs> yeah, I'm already on the drugs. All right, okay. <laughs> Mr. Ed ran for six seasons. God damn. <laughs> this is a show How about many episodes? a horse that talks. <laughs> Holy shit. And that is the only joke of the show. <laughs> Ran for 143 episodes. Oh, God. That's Damn. like almost as many Naruto episodes as there <laughs> exist in the world. <laughs> That's a lot. Now, if they remade. I've often heard Naruto as the Mr. Ed of the anime. World. If they remade Mr. Ed as an anime, I goddamn guarantee you I'd be the first one there to watch it. Mr. Waifu. <laughs> Mr. Edo. <laughs> Edo san. <laughs> hey, John. Wilbur son. Babaka. Babaka. Oh, man. Now, <laughs> Did that horse talk? Not <laughs> And I fucking look, I love Mr. Ed. I did like, too. Like, no joke, and, but it's just like I don't know. It's just weird. It wouldn't play today. No, like, if you just like what it went. What? See, that's well, one Dobie. that I didn't. Watch, <laughs> What's wrong with so that horse? I well, it's like Dobie I, Gillis. Like, oh, Dobie. Mayor T. Cribs. He doesn't go to school all the time. <laughs> <laughs> he wears a sweatshirt with the arms cut off. Dobie Dobie Gillis Nick. is one that I have gone back and watched, and I have been like, "Oh, this is a bad show." <laughs> 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 Mr. Ed, I watched a little with Henry when he was like See, younger, I, and it was like, it's a fucking horse that talks. Kids love this shit. They eat it up. I, here, here <laughs> I think is is one of the differences is I never had cable. Yeah. So I didn't get to watch Nick at So you got Andy Griffith. So the only God, old shows back then that I saw were the ones that they replayed, but on network tel- sure. yeah. television. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Gilligan's like, Island. I saw oh. a totally different set of I mean, I watched them too. Yeah, we watched that shit yeah. too, brother. I promise. But, but all the Nick at Night shows were, are kind of lost on me a little bit. I um, get that. Other than I have seen a few episodes of Dick Van Dyke. Great show. Uh, That's a great and a show. Few episodes That's so still great. Like w- WKRP in Cincinnati. I fucking love that and show. Uh, Nikki so. loves that one. I haven't seen a lot of that one. Mary I've Tyler only Moore seen a few episodes. Good. I've seen a few yeah, episodes of Mary, Mary Tyler, Tyler Moore, Moore is still good. But like the Taxi. Rhoda. Fucking Taxi. Yeah. Taxi's, yeah, Rhoda. Taxi's fantastic. Mm-hmm. Taxi yeah, is really fantastic. Is. Good old Leave It to Beaver. That was a good one. I never watched Leave It to I, Beaver. I never watched that. They're going to remake Taxi. Dennis the Menace. Uber. As long look, as long as they get the the, the cast back, that would be fantastic. (laughs) Who else? How wasn't Dennis? Was Danny DeVito was Danny DeVito? Wasn't uh, Dennis? uh, Or what's his name? Uh, Who's the boss guy? Tony Danza. Tony Danza. Danza. Danza, Judd. Judd. um, Andy Kaufman. Andy Uh, Andy Kaufman. Yeah, Judd uh, Hirsch. Judd Hirsch. Yeah. Um, Booty Doo. Booty Doo Kenner. Booty Doo Kenner. Mm -hmm. Why do I think? Why was, am I thinking of Dustin Hoffman? He wasn't. I don't know. No. <laughs> I'm sure I don't know he was probably rode in a taxi <laughs> once. <laughs> he probably did, yeah. He probably saw a taxi yeah. Yeah. when it was on TV. Yeah. Uh, we the guy who played Wheeler, I can't think of his name. Yeah, I don't know Wheeler. Kirstie Alley wasn't in that, was she? No. Who was in that? What what was the Yeah, there Who was, was the uh, woman in that? Bo- Mary, Mary, Lou, Mary Lou Henner. Lou Henner. Oh, oh, there we Mary go. Lou Henner. There we go. Yeah, I remember her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Uh, I heard John's dick hit on the table. Yeah, <laughs> nah, his it was hitting mine. Oh man, you turn it. <laughs> we both sprung up at the same time. You guys turn that shit to an eight. You're scraping the bottom of the table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Mary Lou Henner. <laughs> yeah. What well, and then um after after Andy Kaufman left, um Tony Clifton. Tony Clifton. <laughs> um uh, oh, I can't think of his name. Back to the future. Oh, 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 Christopher, Christopher Lloyd. Lloyd. Yeah, yeah. Lloyd, Doc yeah. Brown. Yep. Yeah, he was. Oh, what was his character name? Uh, Doc Brown. Minister. What isn't it like? Ah, uh, fuck. He was a Klingon in Star Trek Three. Really? He was, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like everybody, every actor in the nineties. At one, or at one point was a Klingon in Star Trek. <laughs> no, there were at least a lot it. of them were. <laughs> Ashley Judd got on. her start on Star Trek: The Next Generation. Ensign, yeah, Ensign Robin Leffler. <laughs> I remember her too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I, I fucking bet. You guys are both on your phones now. You're looking up Star Trek shit. 
No, I, just, <laughs> I, I want to shit. Yeah, man. I like, want to put on that real shit. You're on Klingon.net. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> well, now I forgot what I was going to. I just up. wanted no, to sorry. show you <laughs> a picture of Christopher Lloyd as a Klingon. Okay. Like I just because I mean he still fucking looks exactly like Chris Well, into yeah. the, into the John book. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's definitely like he looks like if Christopher Lloyd Marty. fucked Genghis Khan. He's a great Klingon too, though. Like he's great, Marty. Like, <laughs> Marty, getting the bird of prey. <laughs> Cloaking devices are malfunctioning. <laughs> the Federations are assholes. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to. No, this is a podcast. This yeah. is this what this we is, do here. This is gold. People like this. It's like talking horses. <laughs> <laughs> but but the game nostalgia the goes a long way. Yes, it does. <laughs> so, do you hear that, Dave? Yes, I do. It sounds like if Mr. Ed played a Klingon, it'd probably sound a little something like this. John, go. Honor, <laughs> honor, <laughs> fucking yes! It just God damn it. To it! God damn it! God damn it, John! I love you so fucking much, dude. God damn it, that was awesome. <laughs> you were fucking there for me, man. I love that shit. Found it, fucking yeah! Come on, man. don't leave me hanging, uh, John. What? What? John. Oh, sorry, John's sorry. good shit. I was trying not to look at the book. I'm trying to yeah, no, avoid I this I appreciate area. You so you keep that knuckles up. I, I, yeah, thank you for respect. <laughs> my area. Uh, of course I hear that, Mr. Ed Klingon, which <laughs> ushers a segment that we like to call Dave Reads from Wikipedia uh, Mr. and Honor. Mr. Klinghead? Mr. Klinghead. Mr. Klinghead. Yeah. I've been on this show almost six months. I ain't come up with something good like that. Uh, he walks in off the fucking street. <laughs> Well, that's John. It's natural. It's yes. just that natural John energy. I don't know if you know this or not, but John... He used to be on the show a lot, and he used to bring some John energy on I Wednesdays. Know I know yeah, that. Wednesdays. I'm still trying to usurp that. I get it. Still, I figure you passed me by now. That's. I don't know. I don't. Know I don't either. really care. It's no, just something no, I, I don't say. Now nah, I don't like where this is going. Uh, the Adams family. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are just like begging for comments. I don't like that. That's yeah. all, that's all we. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's, gonna, <laughs> that's like civil war. We don't so let's Dave, not do that. Dave and I don't no, do that shit. No, we don't. We, we definitely know. don't do that. We shit. know how that a place. Yeah, and yeah. no. Anytime someone's like, "Hey, I like," and I'm like, "Stop." Nope. Nope. <laughs> we don't do that. <laughs> Stop. Uh, the Adams family, guys is a platform game based on the 1991 film of the same name and developed and published by Ocean Software. You guys heard of them? I have. Yeah. They did a lot of movie tie-ins, mm -hmm. like Jurassic Park uh, for the SNES. Um, you need a little more whiskey there, bud? Or bourbon? Yeah. Or you want some cranberry ginger ale? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Simply put. Not Good bourbon? Shit. That's not bourbon, John. That's we need that other a, bottle too. Oh, there we go. Let's yeah, say that's, that's a soft that. drink, John. <laughs> I'll pour this right over the soundboard. Yeah, please, <laughs> here I'll hold it over the yeah, soundboard. Yeah, hold it up right there, and I'll stir it real good. Yeah, yeah. Right. Get, just, shake no, just shake it. Put yeah. your hand loosely oh, over oh, it. Oh, come on, last there. Go ahead, like, kill are, it. Are you sure? Slay it. <laughs> Light L I T Slayer, John Turley. I haven't had any vodka in a long time. That goes a long way, right? Mm. No, not really. There's okay. not a whole lot left in that bottle. Yeah, just <laughs> go ahead and finish it. <laughs> finish her. Yeah. Now that is a lot of vodka. That's right a lot there. of vodka. <laughs> now that is a lot of vodka. Mm. That's how they got Mr. Ed to talk with that, that much vodka. Vodka and peanut butter. And but, peanut say, butter. but it's not just vodka. It is. What is that? Yeah. So probably I a little assumed, bit of everything. It's, I it's Long it was Island just iced vodka. tea mix. That is rum, gin, vodka, tequila, triple sec, and natural flavors. Oh, <laughs> oh, I love those natural flavors. It's, yeah. about, it's about to get... 75%. About to get wild. <laughs> Tyler, when they say natural flavors, what does that mean? Yeah. Flavors found in nature. Okay. It's a bullshit term. All right, all right. <laughs> For, like, the government says we have to say that other things are in this, <laughs> yep. but they're small enough amounts we don't have to specify what that they are. Just like Tic Tacs are said to have no calories. Well, right. They got to have calories. Because I mean, they right? make the serving size one, mm -hmm. and they can round down they in calories. So according to the serving size, they're calorie-free. Fucking <laughs> wrecking my Tic Tac diet strategy. <laughs> <laughs> 
What do you think, John? How is it? You well, want some, you when want you've, some more ginger ale? When you've been drinking bourbon, it's a, <laughs> it's a pretty significant departure. Yeah, yeah you got to uh, put it in part Strawberry first. ginger ale <laughs> and L.I.T. mix. Hell yeah, Hell yeah man. I mean, <laughs> we call that hooch, John. <laughs> there aren't chunks in it. You want to come over here and drink like a goddamn man for once? You come over <laughs> get my cranberry ginger and L.I.T. mix. Dress like a man for once? <laughs> drink like like a man, God like damn it. A man. <laughs> Ian, I love you for saying hooch. I haven't I haven't heard hooch in like a long time. That brings me back. To f- when, when I first met Tanya, it was very close to her 18th birthday. And uh, on her 18th birthday, uh, she and her friend and her father and I went camping. And they had a they had a cooler of it. Made with yeah. pure grain. Yep. So it was a bunch of fruit and a bunch of pure grain alcohol. Ooh. That's Melissa's jam. You know they call it hooch. That does sound really because good. when you drink it, you go, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that fruit, that ooh, fruit, that fruit, that's so oh, good, oh, man. <laughs> like a cherry. I was. Oh. Uh, we were very, very intoxicated that night. <laughs> It was bad, but good in a good way. But, but so you've explained why they call it hooch. Now, why do they call it gooch? <laughs> that I honestly I, don't know. Ask them the real questions. <laughs> don't know. When you lick it, you go gooch. <laughs> gooch. It's pretty good. I like that. It's a good well, Pokemon too. Well, gooch. I think yeah. It's goo, a good goo, gooch. What's that evolve into? <laughs> Taints. <laughs> <laughs> how, did, how did we get here? <laughs> the Adams family. <laughs> Grundle. <laughs> Grundle. <laughs> Adams family uh, was released for home it's a, consoles. It's a dark type Pokemon. <laughs> it's a, oh, yeah, definitely a dark type. <laughs> Uh, it was re- a poison type, maybe. Po- poison dark. There you <laughs> go. Poison dark, yeah. Uh, it was released for home consoles, such as the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, uh, computer consoles, such as the Amiga, and handheld consoles like the Game Boy. Mm, this on Game Boy. I played it for this show. Mm. Uh, it sucks. It's real bad. <laughs> I would imagine. It's real fucking super bad. Yeah, I played it for like two minutes, and then I was like, nope. No, <sighs> sir. <laughs> the Super Nintendo version, however, at least in my opinion, was awesome. It's pretty great. I enjoyed it greatly. It's pretty great. It I is, enjoyed it, too. It is the literal hardest game I've ever it played. Is, oh, my God. It's so <laughs> it's hard. It's so difficult. Fuck, it's so hard. But fun. And it, yeah. It's, it is hard. But I will say this. It is one of those games where um, there's a certain. It's an open world platformer. So, like, imagine Super Mario Brothers. This is very Super Mario Brothers. It like. is very. But much. the ice worlds. Uh, well, the ice worlds. But there's like there's an order. There's it's open, so you can do whatever you want. It, this is an open world platform. It is like, so you, like can, you can. It's all connected through tubes. Okay, okay. It's all connected. No you map. Can, no, there's is no map. That Which is true. Was disappointing because I got lost a lot. But yeah, yeah, and it's like each like wing of the fucking mansion is enormous. Oh my god! And that that time into why this game is difficult is because it's like there are so many like levels and those levels are long yes oh god the fucking graveyard the graveyard Fuck, that was so long, way longer than i thought all it was gonna of be. the conservatory all of it is just so it just goes all these rooms go on and on and on like when you leave one section of the of the of the level you think okay maybe this is the end no 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 it keeps it's on not going. you keep going through a whole long section Okay, maybe nope, more? There's more. How is there more? <laughs> Why are there clowns here? What? <laughs> yeah. Clowns and jesters <laughs> and spinning turban dudes and Yeah, it's Indian just swamis. A, like, so much. They're really having to reach <laughs> for some Fly, of that. Uh, flying zippers, maybe? Rabbits <laughs> with sneakers. <laughs> uh, green Frogs on wolf tricycles. Man. You know, like in the okay. movie. <laughs> so, you know. They had the script to work with. Believe yeah. it or not, um, <laughs> but they were like, um, 
they decided to do like the last 20 minutes of the movie, essentially, where it's like everybody's kidnapped. Uh, and you're playing as Gomez, and you got to rescue everybody in the mansion. So they're all like in different wings of the mansion. Uh, you don't know where they are. They, the game wants you to just kind of explore, which so, is which is fine. And thing thing is there to help you. And right. the levels your, the levels are so big that the mansion would actually be like seven hundred thousand square feet. It, yeah, like, like the Resident it, like it, the Resident yeah, Evil Mansion. It would. <laughs> Let me, I mean, yeah, when it's we like say the that, runway from Fast and Furious Seven yeah, or whatever, yeah. <laughs> that check. would have to be four hundred and eighty-five yeah. miles long. <laughs> I looked it up. That's <laughs> they did the math. Let me check the Zillow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When we say the levels are big, though, John, there. I've seen entire <laughs> games Dude, it's, that aren't as big as yeah. one of the fucking levels in this game. I want to compare the Adams Family Mansion to Castlevania, like Dracula's Castle and Symphony there of the Night, go. and see like the size comparison. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> room versus number of room. Like how many are you know, what do we got? What are we working with? <laughs> then you it's, get the upside down Adams Family House <laughs> yeah. that comes on top Which of is it. Actually the monster's house. <laughs> <laughs> But like, so these long levels make it really hard. This but is definitely getting better the more I drink. The hooch is? <laughs> that's, that's what hooch is designed for, buddy. The checkpointing is generous. It is very generous. But the number of lives... I was about about that. Like, <laughs> it's checkpointing is super generous, but the problem is you don't have a lot of lives. Well, unless... Unless... You know, unless you know where to look. Right. No. Oh, okay. No, it's not an exploit. They put... There's... There's a smattering of one-ups and hearts uh, in the levels themselves, but there is a particular place you can go uh, if you know where to look. It's Pugsley's room. Pugsley's den. Pugsley's den. Yeah. And in there is also a hidden door. And when you go in there, you find rooms full of things like hearts and mm. one ups. Mm. And when you say weapons. hearts, are they like heart containers? It's like Mario oh, Two yeah. style, Energy. where there are two hearts up there for your how many hits you can take. Right. The only thing not oh, in Pugsley's okay. den that is useful to you is heart containers. Those are guarded by mini bosses. Right. There's three. You can collect three more heart containers for a total of five. Oh, okay. And you have to, like Ian said, you have to beat a mini boss in order to get the heart container. Now, the problem is, and this is, goes back to where I was like, the game is super hard, but it gets a lot easier if you know the right order, like the, the optimal order to do it. Oh. Can I, can I please jump it's in like, yeah, on please. that? It's like statement. Dark Souls like that. Yeah. <laughs> Dark Souls for the Super Nintendo. Not I've always game. heard that. Here's an example yes. of why this game can really fuck with you as far as how big it is, right? You walk in to this area that takes you underground, all right? And you go, you fight your way through this entire underground level, up, up, over, over, is jumping that, off is of it enemies. Is like a basement or a cave? It's underground like a cave. Okay. Uh, and you're, you ha there's some places you can't even get to unless you time it right and jump off an enemy. And you it's do, like Kaiju oh, wow. Mario you shit, the all way you have work. to go across yeah, huge barriers, jumping on enemies and stuff. It is. And the, you do all this work to get to the area where the where the mini boss is, where you get your first extra heart container, right? It's a bird on top of a tree. Uh, it turns out if you just went to the door on the second floor of the mansion, you walk right up to the tree. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I took the long way to the tree. Dave took that the happened. long way to the tree in his Twitch stream, and I, I only knew not to do that because the demo was running, and the first thing the demo shows is him walk through that door and go to the tree and fight the bird for the heart container. That's smart that you pay attention to the demo. Well, it just happened to <laughs> pop up. I never up. do. Yeah. I never do, uh, and I should. But it's all just this giant maze and circle, and you, can, you could take the long route to get to something and then find out later that, oh, it was right here. I could have just walked to wow. it, like two steps over kind of thing. But didn't didn't phase me though i still loved it i liked it a lot and there was somebody in chat named uh Stu Kage. great name <laughs> yeah he was throwing you some serious good help good help no i'm super grateful that he was in chat i was enjoying the game before he showed up mm -hmm. but when he showed up he was like do you mind if i help and i was like please by all means by the way i wasn't there i watched it today a replay of your well, thanks for great. watching the vod yeah, i appreciate yeah. it um there is, but yeah, he told me about Pugsley's Den, and it's like Pugsley's Den sets you up with like 28, 28 lives. lives, and it goes oh, a long a way. Yeah. Do Shit. Dollar signs are like coins in Mario. They're distributed out. You get 100, you get an extra life. Right. Okay. You get 25, and you get um, a heart 
to uh, refill one of your empty heart containers. Okay. So they they matter. You know, collecting right. the shit matters, like it does in Mario. You know, you get a hundred coins and you get a one up. Um, this game definitely. So and I thought it was very weird because there's actually I know a little bit of the development of this game because someone cared enough to fucking do some journalism on it. Uh, apparently, this game came out like a month after the movie, which, which is, is a, a perfect. It's perfect timing, right? Because well, it's fresh in everyone's mind. Well, it was a. It was. It is good timing, and but it, it was, was a hit too. So the movie, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And but it was also weird timing because um, normally the games would come out either right before the release of the movie mm-hmm. or simultaneous, or during or simultaneous. Yeah. So it's a little. It's a little weird that it came out a month later. The only other. The game of that time to do that apparently was Hook, um, which was you know also a su- successful movie. Yeah. So, um, so they like the development of this. Essentially, uh, four people put this game together. Wow, <laughs> that's impressive. Uh, it started as a puzzle game. They wanted to do a puzzle game, and then um, Paramount, I think it was, was like uh, Paramount Pictures. I think was like, uh, yeah, but. They were originally just going to do it for PC, and they're like, yeah, but the home consoles, like these things are like popular. We can make money. And they're like, okay, well, we'll do, a, we'll do it for consoles, but no one's going to want to play a fucking Adam's Family puzzle game on the console. So they fucking flipped the idea, and they were like, you know what? This works out because we – they and they set out apparently to be like, we're going to make a Mario game. This is going to be a Mario clone, and here is why. Um, there is not a good one on the Amiga for people to play. Nice. So we're going to make a good one. We're going to make a good Mario clone for the Amiga, uh, and that'll sell well over there. And, um, you know, it'll probably sell well on the plat- on the home consoles as well. And it is very, like, it's super, like, this is, like, if you like Mario games and you played all of them, go ahead and play The Addams Family because it is, um, there are some differences. Like, there's no run button. Um, I wish there had been a run button. Which is weird for me, because I play yeah, I Mario kept, games. So you could tape trying the fucking to run. run button <laughs> yeah. down. I you know. can get the sneaker power up and go faster, but I found that made me fuck up more. It's, yeah, it's yeah. detrimental. It's Gomez, control, Gomez sure. is my complaint, is that Gomez is slippery. Yes. Very, very. I, ju- I would jump and slide into enemies and slide into pits and well gomez wears dress fire. shoes man he's not, oh, a, sne- true. He's not a sneaker yeah, guy that's true. Wing tips like, on. Yeah. <laughs> that's true <laughs> <laughs> but there's a section of the game where essentially you have to progress by jumping on not bullet bills um you know very much like you do in like super yeah. mario mm. brothers and it's like that was i mean it's it's fun uh it's this game is way better than i thought it was going to be it is I know we're not to that section of the show yet, but like this game uh, is so much better than Adam's Family Values, yes. which is that top-down oh, Fester yes. uh, Jurassic Park mm, thing. Yeah. I remember you guys doing that one for the show? Yeah, it was on the IGN list. No, right? no? no, no, no. Okay. It was that was a random one. Weird. <clears throat> uh, it was this really game is weird. this game is way better than Adam's Family Values. Um, I haven't played Pugsley Scavenger Hunt. I think that's mm. the third. Adam's Family Super Nintendo game, but there's no way that's going to be better than this. There's like, a whole lot of media about Pugsley Scavenger Hunt. Like, I was doing a search for something on this game, and everything that came up was Pugsley Scavenger Hunt. Really? So I'm wondering if that one didn't end up being kind of the more popular. More popular I don't whether it's good or not is hmm. beside the point. I just think it might have been more hmm. popular. I don't know. We'll get. I'm to curious that about that. It is coming out '91. Like it's fucking early. Pug- so. Pugsley Scavenger Hunt no, was this. This was oh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I do know there's like weird trivia about Fester's Quest, like Fester's Quest for the NES. Yeah, Fester's Quest. God. When, Fuck. when yeah. I was a kid, I remember oh. renting Fester's I did, Quest. I, I owned that one, and then being like, "Oh, is this like an Adams Family thing?" Because like, I mean, like on the box on like cartridge mm. when you go rent it, like it doesn't say Adams Family or anything on it. Just Fester's says Quest. Fester's Quest. Yeah. And then like, I don't know, something happens in the game where I'm like, "Oh, this is." The Adams Family guy, because I didn't, you know, I didn't yeah. know anything about Adams Family, oh. um, and then like it turns out, apparently, this is I've only done like this. I'm done like real research on this. This is like fucking just shit I've heard on the internet. But like, apparently, like the Adams Family got popular in Japan, and they were like, well, we're gonna make an Adams Family game, like with like no intention of like 
like no thought about the U.S. audience or anything. <laughs> it was just like, and they made Fester's Quest, and then like we got Fester's <laughs> Quest, and like that explains that weird anomaly when I went into the fucking rental store and was like, "What is this game?" <laughs> It looks it looks kooky and ooky. I'm gonna fucking rent it, and I did. And then I was like, I'm confused. God, I remember having so much trouble with that fucking game. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a rough one. I've watched people stream that one, and yeah. it's like that's good to watch someone stream that because I'm like, oh, that's how you play it. Yeah. <laughs> it was tough. Yeah. I like the this... power ups in this game. I'm sorry. No, no, you totally flat interrupted you. No, you didn't go. Um, How dare you put this I podcast know. back on track, Tyler? <laughs> God damn. I'm done. You, <laughs> I'm done. I'm fucking done. Because your, uh, your fireball power-up is your a white ball? It's a golf ball. It's a golf ball. It's a golf okay. ball. And you know what's uh, fucked up? Okay. I, I had no idea for like... Yeah, that was like, like a ski ball. I picked it up, <laughs> lost my foil... A little oh, fencing yeah. foil. It's a, one of the weapons. Makes sense. I fucking love. Yeah. Fucking love. Yeah, you could just stick that thing out and shit would just run into it. Yeah, and stick die. it straight up. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's uh, great. But when I picked it up, I thought it was like a gem or something. I didn't know it was a weapon. It's a, it is literally Super Mario's fireball. fireball. It yep. is literally that. It, I, the, like, it functions <laughs> lit, like the physics. Yep. It's that. That I, is what it is. I never it's, used it. Because I didn't know oh, it's so, it was equipped. I didn't know it was a thing I could use. So, I thought I just uh, lost damn, my sword. Damn. If I had no, I watched you play, I'm like, holy f- <laughs> fuck. That's it's, a golf b- Oh, my. I could have. Oh, fuck. It's OP. <laughs> but the problem is, it's so rare. It is like it's not like the it's not like the it's not like the flower in Mario where it's like you'll find Honestly, that motherfucker like two twice in a level. Honestly, though, the bouncing and the physics make a lot more sense as a golf ball, right? Yeah. I mean, have Good. you ever seen fire bounce off R- the floor? Rubber fire, man. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I, I've never, I've also never been in the Mushroom Kingdom, man. I don't nah, know. You're, you're maybe, not wrong. Maybe you're that's not wrong. how that shit works. Know, that's some there. weird physics. Inter- interdimensional physics. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> but that some bitch was, I watched you with that, and I was like, damn, the golf ball. I it's wish, awesome. But you lose it. The thing is, they your weapon is, it, again, just like Mario, whatever mm-hmm. power-up you have, one hit takes that away. But fortunately, doesn't count against your hearts in right. that hit. It acts so, like a buffer. Right. It's a buffer. Oh, okay. And so, like, yeah, and like, like Mario, Mario, you jump like on Mario. shit normally by Makes killing sense. it. If you don't have a weapon, you jump on it. It's right. all yeah. jumping on stuff. And uh, if you hold down the jump button while you are jumping on an enemy, it will shoot you up higher than if you let it just hit them and then you just fall down, which you have to know when to do which because mm-hmm. sometimes, man, you'll fly up into something and it'll. Straight okay. hit you. I like mean, it in is Mario. a hard fucking game. Yeah, it's yeah, trolly exactly. though. The problem, like with Mario, Mario does it better and more elegantly because Agreed. when you die in a Mario level, it's not a big deal. You can kind of like, even if it's like a troll thing where it's like, ah, fuck, they got me with that. It's not a huge deal because typically in Mario games, you have so many fucking lives. I mean, like. And even if you don't, you can just fucking continue, and then you're usually starting back at the you know the world where you left off. Adam's family has passwords, or, which is nice, so it's not like you lose a bunch of progress. Um, but like, what sucks about it is, like we mentioned earlier, the fucking wings. This mansion is so large yeah. that when you use the password, you start back from the. I think you start back from the entrance way. Yeah. So I mean, it's like you have to like you lose you know some of your exploration progress, um, which you know makes it more difficult, but also makes it a little more frustrating. Like, and it, and it's it has more. <laughs> Adam's family has more gotcha moments in it than Mario does Definitely. Too. It feels a little more mean-spirited than Mario But does. I feel like the stuff that they hide for you to find is a little bit easier, in my opinion. Like, for example, at the very first thing you can do is you, when you start the game, you can hang a left, and there's a, there's a gallows with a noose hanging down, and you can climb it. And when you do, there's this little fez with a propeller mm. flying around, and you can put that, and now you can float your way up, like Tanuki style, right? And uh, then you stand on top of the chimney and go down the chimney. And look, you're in a room with a bunch of one-ups, and yeah. now you've got 12 lives. And then, So they, they oh, do strategically wow. yeah. treat you to these nice things that you they can find to help keep you. 
Yeah, to help keep you in the game. I'm glad you mentioned that because honestly, like I never really put that together. You're right. That Fez helicopter is a P wing. That's essentially 100 percent how it operates, like a P wing in yeah. Super Mario Brothers Three. And yeah. what's what's fucked up about it is, as long as you stay in the room, if you go through a door with that hat on, it immediately starts blinking like it's going to go away. Otherwise, you can use it all to your heart's content in that area. But like, if you try to take it into the next uh, okay. area, it goes away because they don't want you to have an advantage going in. Because boy, I, I thought to myself so many times would, would that, that propeller would hat that, would be great right now. Would that sort of break the game if you had that yeah. ability yeah, through absolutely. the whole yeah. thing? Like yeah, that? I mean, you'd lose it. You'd like lose it if, if you got hit. hit or whatever. But yeah, it would break. I mean, it would be. A lot of stuff would be way fucking easier. You you get it in the the graveyard level in the mausoleum, but like it's it's not super helpful because they're the equivalent to thwomps going up and down. Well, you can easily float into one of those crevices and just get crushed with it hmm. super easily. So it's, it's, help, not it's a, helpful. It, it's not helpful. Yeah, it's not for every level. Mostly they, I think, mostly they put it there for you to be able to reach. The chimney. extra stuff, secret or, stuff, or, yeah, just whatever they've got hidden. That's how you get to it. Kind of a, a tip off, like, oh, there's one there's of these. There's probably something probably here something up, up that way, yeah, yeah, exactly. But fuck, I found myself, I got, I, I was underground, you know, and you know, that there's one part where you uh pass through a wall, they give you a clue about the wall isn't a wall or right, something, and sure. that just tells you, you know, you just keep going, you'll pass through Where there's it. a wall, there's a way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, at one point, I The wall jumped, uh, 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 finds a way. I jumped <laughs> in, <laughs> Speaking of Jurassic Park, uh, I jumped up <clears throat> right there instead of going through the wall because there was an... And I was in the graveyard, and yeah. I had lost all my progress uh, to that point, and I had to go back around to get back to where I was. So... You got to be careful where you go because sometimes you'll go in a direction that you shouldn't have, and you end up yeah, that sounds a little circling back. <laughs> it can be frustrating for sure. It takes a lot of patience. Each room is named, which I thought was like a really nice touch. Very nice. Like I mean, touch. they name all the rooms. Every like, like every, every room, every room in every level. Like imagine playing The Legend of Zelda, and it's like you're in a dungeon, and you go to like uh, you advance a screen, and it says. The dragon room. I mean, it's like every room they've, Holy they've, shit. they've named. There's the rose yeah, room that's... and the thorn room and the joker room and the jester room. It was crazy how they like put that much thought into it. And not to mention all the detail in the graphics. I thought the graphics in this game were good. The backgrounds really looked good. great. Um, man, so this was great. 91. I think it actually, I think it was 92. <clears throat> uh, let me see. But me... but still early. Sounds like they were it was maxing early. Out that ROM, <laughs> like I mean, with that much, <laughs> that many levels, I just yeah, I'm, like I, I mean, that's why about, I was shocked. And I know there's going to be a lot of cut and paste type. You know, we're going to keep using this same panel over. I didn't over feel over. that though. I mean, maybe yeah, they yeah, did, it, but it, I didn't if feel it. If that yeah. big and there's that many sprites it's and there's so all these busy. unique names, even like at that point, you have to think about. How much space did the unique names take? Up? Mm -hmm, exactly. <laughs> you know, like back in the day, you were dealing with K. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So that's wild that they could fit all of that on there. Mm -hmm. The game came out in '92, <clears throat> but I know that was early '92 because the movie came out in '91. Oh, okay. yeah. So, like, it was a Christmas so then release. It was, so it was a month. Well, it was like it was January, January, so it would have been January '92. Yeah. Um, this game is like, honestly, and I mean this in the most. In the best way possible. This is not a slight against the game. This feels like a Nintendo game, mm -hmm. uh, like Absolutely. an NES. Like an, I'm sorry, like an NES. It's game, NES right? hard. It is like it is yeah. like an NES game that is 16 bit, mm -hmm. and that is like that's pretty good. That's a pretty sweet spot. It is. Yeah, yeah. And, and, it, and it makes sense with it being so early in the Super Nintendo. <laughs> sure. Um, and you know, coming on like, off the heels of the Super Mario Brothers trilogy, like I mean, like it. This is a. I mean. I, I'm surprised I haven't heard about this game. Like it snuck up, didn't it? I mean, it was just again, it's one of those where I sat down to play it, and I, you had kind of warned us, Tyler, that it was very difficult. Right, right. I was prepared for that, but uh, I was not prepared to enjoy it as much as I did. And as frustratingly hard as it was, I kept trying. Like because I was like, okay, Sign I think I got game. it this time. But yeah, <laughs> right I wanted there. to yeah. keep playing like, exactly. Uh, I played the Genesis version, which came out a year later. It came out in 93. 
Um, I liked it better. Oh, really? Yeah. Why is that? Well, it um, it is easier to discern. Like the background isn't as muddy. Like the background layers aren't as muddy. Okay, they're a okay. little more it makes clear. Sense. Um, and I, the music is not as good. I feel like, but I and I know I'm gonna get fucking. You know, people are gonna get upset. Genesis music for me has never really hit the same way that Super Nintendo. I, I, yeah. I get right. that. Yeah, 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 for yeah. me, it, to me, it is, and maybe it's because I grew up with a Super Nintendo and not a Genesis. I think it's a preference thing. But I mean, it's like one of those. No, Super Nintendo just sounds better. No, I mean, <laughs> no, okay. my buddy had a Genesis. And uh, yeah, they just, I, I'm, I played it a lot. And, and, but, but no, the, it's, the thing about the Genesis is like which. It also depends on like what model revision you had, because there are model revisions of the Genesis. Mm, like the okay. quality control on those varied, <laughs> varied. Like you could have a model where it's like, oh yeah, the sound on this is fucking horrible. But if you got like a good model with good sound, then you're like, oh, this sounds good. This sounds really good. I don't understand why people be hating on the Genesis, <laughs> right? But yeah. I mean, it's like, but Super Nintendo, I feel like generally. Kind of like that. That quality was leveled out, and it's right. like you kind of right, like right. you know get what you get always. Um, but yeah, I didn't like the music as much in the Genesis version. But um, man, given between the two, I honestly would prefer to play the Genesis. We say a year later, and it's on the Genesis. I mean, the Genesis was specced a little higher, wasn't it? Then I don't know, honestly. I, 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 I really just don't kind know. of assumed it was. I would have. I don't know. I remember seeing Last at Piggly, processing. they were in a Genesis game to Piggly Wiggly as well, and they always had Slaughterhouse, which I wanted to play so badly. Splatterhouse? Like, Holy shit, Splatterhouse, yeah, thank yeah. you. But my mom was like, oh my God, put that down. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. So, That's a horror game. Yeah. Still never played it. Still no idea. No idea, but I, I wanted, I wanted to as a kid. Uh, I saw it played once as a kid, and I remember being like, "Oh man, I can't play this one." <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go punish myself because I shouldn't even be watching this. Uh, but the the Super Nintendo version has like a weird like. One thing that I did kind of miss. Do you know where I'm going with I this? Think maybe it's a control thing. Oh no! Uh, if you and this is like this might give you an idea of how like demanding this game is for platforming. If you press the right shoulder button, Gomez will move to the right one pixel. Uh, if you press the L Gosh, shoulder button, that. Gomez will move to the left one pixel. Because there are jumps in the game where, where it's you, like... It, it is pixel <laughs> perfect. Oh, pixel perfect. Wow. You have to do... I know exactly. So you can like bump up to the edge and then pop the jump. Yeah. See, because more, m more often than not, especially in some of the lower levels where there was a lot of dropping... Activating a switch and then jumping so many up, switches. Yeah, you you your margin for error is zero. You have to make that jump perfectly to get on that one diagonal. Yeah, so that you yeah. land up here, and you got to do that a lot. And I am not gonna lie, I I Dave generously donated his um, uh, SNES Classic for me to borrow uh, since I don't have one, and uh, I I. Uh, Safe scum the shit out of this game. Yeah. I could oh, not. Yeah. I yeah, would me, not yeah. have been uh, able to do what little I did accomplish uh, without that feature. Because holy fuck, it, it was just that hard. I, under those, under different circumstances, I might have been more prone to giving up just because of that. But only because I'm I'm kind of in a limited time of. You know, between right, right, shows right. I'm yeah, playing now. Yeah, if I'm a, right. if I'm a, you're, like, you're 12 yeah, yeah. years I'm 12 old. Years and you got old, this for Christmas. This would and, be perfect. And you've got a fucking year, two years. <laughs> Nothing of but time. Well, me yeah. being little, forking over four dollars to this say, game yeah, to go you, on my Super Nintendo. Yeah, yeah, you rented this like a million times, and right? Play, so. Yeah, and I would go straight so had to, to the kitchen to try to rescue Granny. That's all I ever did. Just rent, go, try to save Granny. Maybe I did it once. That's oh, all I wow. ever did in this game. That's tough. Is just try it to do that hard. level over and over and over with and just over. two heart containers. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know where right. shit was. Right. Yeah. Did they have the instruction manual? I'm I'm just I, curious. I do not think so. Because oh, the the instruction manual they probably <laughs> did. it's Piggly Wiggly. Let's be honest. I they used, probably didn't have the instruction manual. I, we I used to rent from like I'm movie they just hut. Hand me, a, hand me the cart. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Right. Movie hut and um, there was another one. Family video. No. 
No. Select Division. That was the one in our town. I like that one. In my part of town. I can't remember. But Food like giant. neither neither mm. of the places ever Big John ever fucking had the the instruction manuals. Mm. Yeah, yeah, those things they disappeared like, pretty quick. Movie Hut was the only game only store I could rent from that would have photocopies folded up of the instruction manual. Yeah, and, sometimes uh, I the, remember a photocopy. If you're lucky, but, yeah. right? But even that I don't remember yeah. very often. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Those I like, like wow, because look kids at this. would write in codes and <laughs> yeah, shit. Right. Yeah, right. yeah. That was always mm-hmm. nice. The reason that I asked is because the instruction manual is actually, it's very good. It's like surprisingly good. I mean, it's still a 1990s video game instruction manual. You know what I mean? Yep. It's not, you know, War and Peace, but it's like, you know, it's, it's good. Yeah, yeah. And they have, they have hints in it that are essentially riddles. Like they tell you the order to do the game in, but they do it in like, they're like, we found this letter. And it's like, this, it's a that's letter. Cool. That's fantastic. That's, that's all riddles. Like this. Yeah. And it talks about like, um, that's an added layer of depth to the game, though. Yeah, because it is. You wouldn't it's, have if you don't have the manual. It's a riddle, and it's also one of those where it's like, because I was reading it after the, I read it before playing the game, and then after playing it on stream, uh, and then I, I went back and played a little bit today, actually a lot today. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, I was like, oh shit, they're really, they're just telling you how to do it. I just didn't, when I read it the first time, I didn't realize it because they talk about, you know, snow and that's the snowman that you fight. They're telling you to get the hearts first and then the, you know, the order to rescue yeah. the family. Uh, we didn't say every time you rescue a family member, they show up in like the music room. Yep. Yes. Which is in the center up like two levels on the main mansion. Uh, and Lurch is in there playing the harpsichord. Mm hmm. And it, yeah, every time you save somebody, they, they appear like in his there. little box, like bopping along. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> every time someone is rescued, they show up, and he gets an extra piece of the music. Yes, and then when all the family members, except for Morticia, Morticia's not there, uh, you get Pugsley, Wednesday, Granny, and uh, Fester. Fester. Uh, once that, once you rescued all of them, you have the complete set of music. Lurch plays the uh, the song. And then it opens up the way for you to save Morticia. Okay, kind of. It's kind of fucking cool. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's, that's it's actually just pretty so, awesome. It's kind of fucking cool. It's so well put together. I mean, the story's fun. I I'm gonna it. finish it. That's Yo, no like, joke. I'm gonna sell me on this game. Like, it's fun. <laughs> like, it is I would fun. fucking play this game. <laughs> it's hard, but it's worth it. I mean, I just really dig it. And, it is hard, yeah, but yeah, I yeah. but I do honestly think that once you learn once you learn it. Then it's then it's just a matter of executing it because yeah. like because I, I had a hard like I, I had a hard Ooh. time on stream but when I played it on the Genesis today I was to where I got on stream literally in twenty five minutes okay like I mean it was so, like I had so five heart containers that, knowing and that had rescued um, Pugsley in twenty five minutes and it was like oh shit I might actually be able to like I might actually be able to finish this game um, but it's also a kind of game that I like it's one yeah. of the, it's one of those where it's like. It demands a lot from you, and if you're willing to fucking put that time in, then reward. You're, you'll get that reward. Some people like that. Some people don't. I, I do. I, so this definitely well, this I, I will come in. back to this game. I will, because I really, I really did like it, and I've got a save state. Sure. <laughs> so I don't have to keep starting over or sure. using passwords. I can yeah. just pick up where I fucking left yeah. off. And, you know, some, some of these fucking levels, I would literally take four steps uh, around like a hard thing and safe and then four or five more steps yeah safe and, yep. <laughs> i mean i was like inching along in some of these places where it was just a struggle for me to get yeah. through and i finally get through it with my health intact okay i'm saving you know but like, so super meat boy will replay <coughs> oh all your Lord. failed attempts That's, i would have I loved love to it. have seen this with all my save state oh, gomez's oh, trying to get <laughs> I, Gomez, I am sorry. I also like to point out this game can it also. It also makes sense because you're Gomez that you would save Morticia last. Like, of course, you know, because she's in there. Build up. She's in there that. enjoying that whatever's going on. <laughs> That's what, when, when you rescue Wednesday, she says, uh, "Thanks, but I was kind of having fun." Right. Yeah. So. Exactly. Yeah. And Pugsley, you rescue Pugsley, and he was like, "You rescue Pugsley from like a mad scientist." And Pugsley was like, "Oh, he was just helping me with my, you know, yeah. whatever." <laughs> I love that shit. Right. I love it. <laughs> They really capture the the Adams family in this game so well. They they were so true to the uh, medium. The so. best thing about the Adams family, when we were ta- having a discussion earlier, I meant to mention this and I forgot, is that they are so like 
what kills them. Nothing. You know what I mean? That's yeah, that's exactly. like what's great is like it's like one of those things where it's like, well, they're are they human? Like what? Because they do a lot of shit where it's like that should kill a person, especially in the movies, right? You know when they've like tied him up. He's, she's tied him up to the fucking electric well, electric chair, electric chair, and is getting ready to <laughs> yeah. throw the switch. And Morticia comes in and she's like, "It's time for dinner." Right? You know, then right, she's say, not appalled. No, she says, "What are you doing?" And she says, "It's time for dinner. Hurry up." Well, and it goes yeah. back, to, you know, and it goes back to like what Tyler, what you were saying is, you know, when you're talking about it all just being flipped, mm -hmm. they set this family. In always in a very grounded, real yeah. world kind of deal. I mean, yeah. sometimes it's a little oversaturated for contrast, you know, uh, like it's yeah, a little, exactly. little saccharine kind of world yeah, that yeah. they're in. But I mean, for the most part, though, you get the impression that the other people in this world can die. Yes. Are they already are they already dead? I don't know. We don't know. They never explain it, and that's what I love about it. I know. That's what's so are, good about so it. We didn't talk about the music room portraits. Oh, oh right. Yeah. In yeah. the music <laughs> room, above the harpsichord, are right. these... And I only jumped in here because I said <laughs> earlier, when we yeah. walked in, Tyler's got the game paused up on his giant projection screen of the music room and there is a gigantic portrait of Gomez and a gigantic <laughs> portrait of Morticia that I want in real yeah. life full size in my office but it's uh, Raul Julia and Angelica Hughes ish yeah, yeah. ish I mean they didn't oh, use okay. their actual likenesses <clears throat> no I mean the ones you want in real oh if it, yes yeah. if yeah, I okay. had if okay. someone did it for me I'd want it Gomez and Morticia from the movie Angelica gotcha. Houston and yes uh, Raul, Julia. Have you guys ever read any of the cartoon, like any of the comics, like the comic mm. strips? No. This is a New Yorker comic uh, that started in like the 30s. Oh, <laughs> it's like that's shit. how that's I didn't how, know that. Yeah, mm. that's how old this shit is. Wow. And like, the, aren't, I'm sorry, because aren't yeah. they like you said the New Yorker? I feel like they made a list of the top 10 richest fish, fish, fictitious characters. And the Gomez family is like number four. They're on that list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I didn't know that. The but, 30s was like and Daddy the universe Warbucks that they in actually too, probably. Lived in, right? Say who? Daddy it's, Warbucks is probably Daddy in there Warbucks. Somewhere. Richie Rich is number one. Oh yeah. And then Scrooge mm, McDuck. Okay. 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 Uh, yeah, like yeah. Daddy Warbucks, and then the Gomez Adams family. Adams. <laughs> and it explains it like they moved into a swamp, all this swamp land that no one wanted. It was decrepit. It was awful, and. <laughs> It's so much oil is just on oil. It. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah why he's an oil loaded. tycoon. Yeah, I'm sorry. Every Beverly time. Hillbillies. Yeah, just <laughs> something like that. <laughs> only less death. Yeah. Every time More somebody death. mentions Scrooge McDuck, I cannot not think of that little skit from uh, Family Guy, where he like. I think it's Family Guy. I can't remember. He like jumps into the. He like jumps oh. off the diving board <laughs> and he hits the big pile of money and he's like, it just breaks it ah. in half. I'm like, oh my ah. god, that's not how it works in, in the show. <laughs> Why? It's so hard. <laughs> oh, no, no, sorry. Go ahead. Have you yeah, seen Scrooge McDuck? Scrooge McDuck, he's, he's, he's fuck, right? half duck, half gold elemental, so he can uh, swim through it. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the new Adams Family movie? Yeah. The, the one that I joked about, like mm -hmm. when we did Adams Family Values, the new animated Adams Family movie was coming oh, out. Oh, like, yeah. I mean, it, it was my, like, oh, that's a weird timing. We my son and my wife went and saw it. I yeah. haven't seen it. We saw uh, it. There's been even another uh, one since, I think. My son Ooh, fucking really loved it. One just came out. Like, loved it. Henry loved it, too. Month. But the reason that I bring it up is because those character designs, those are the wall, Those are the New Yorker The 30s. Those yep. are the, yeah, that makes okay. total sense now those that you are mentioned the same it. Those are designs. Yeah. yeah. So which, awesome. is, which is very cool. Yeah. I like those. They're very, like... Stylized, and I love that Adam's family. I like the Adam's family in the same way I like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which I know sounds weird. No, but you can do the Adam's you can family do it however you so want. many different ways, and it doesn't matter. It still, it still works. works. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the turtles does too. Even the Michael Bay shit. It was kind of like, well, this ain't my Ninja Turtles, but yeah, hey, why not? It was still entertaining. It's the girls' turtles. That's what they think. Of, yeah. So yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, but look, <laughs> it's not bad. It's but like Doctor yeah, Who. You, it's still you know, hard. <laughs> right? You're, I was fortunate. That is a doctor. Good, that is, I love that. It is like Doctor Who. It's I was just, fortunate yeah. enough that it, at least my kids are the like, uh, the like, like, 
early 2000s Nickelodeon Ninja Turtles. Were that's like a good, that that's they, a good series. And like it's pretty good. Yeah, I've watched series. it with them, and I'm like, mm, this is this holds up, man. The this live is action good. with Venus de Milo, and and I want, yeah, <laughs> I don't want to make you feel old, but that was definitely not the early 2000s. It wasn't. It was late. It was late 2000s, right? <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe no, I maybe don't know, John. maybe early. <laughs> Shit. No, no, no. Okay, not I don't know. 2001 <laughs> for 2012. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you don't really exist. <laughs> well, talk, yeah, talk. I just remember it had like. A rap intro, like that's the only thing. <laughs> you know? It was a good. That was a good. It was I a love good that intro. fucking that's show, good. man. It was a good show. I will still watch it. Like every now and then, it still comes on. Yeah, Nickelodeon, yeah. and the the boys will want to watch it's it. Good. Like that's because it's good. I'm gonna sit down and watch this with them. I look. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> People aren't gonna like this. I would rather watch that version of the Ninja Turtles than the version I grew up yeah. with. No, no, no. If we're t- if we're talking animated, yeah. Now that first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Live action movie, that's a fucking gem. That movie is like Agreed. that's that's a Agreed. great fantastic yeah, movie. The the animated Ninja Turtles that that we grew we grew up with, that it's funny, in one of the Nickelodeon shows, there's a there's a scene where Michelangelo jumps off the top of a building, goes through the sewer, and pops up. Like he just went through a dimensional plane, right? Pops up and he's in the old Ninja Turtles. I remember you telling me about this. Yeah, I hadn't yeah. seen this one. It, it fucking blew my mind. And it's the same voices as oh, the wow. old one and nice. everything. And I was just like, that is so fucking cool. Like, you know, my kids don't get why it's so right. cool, but I get it. And like, <laughs> and, and like, don't, and please don't get me wrong. I fucking loved that original animated oh, yeah. series. Yeah. And like, I grew up on that shit. And I, when I say I loved it, I mean, I fucking loved that show. But like, when you compare, it's almost like when we're talking about Mr. Ed and shit, where it's yeah, just like, no. production has, inc- like, the production quality has increased so much over time. Not that just, just that. Like, you can tell the people writing the, well, the that's new one I mean. were the people who fucking grew yeah. up on the old one. Yeah, and I think that's like, part of the production. I mean, I do honestly feel like with the writing and like yep. all of it. I mean, it's just it was yeah, it's tough to beat that one. No, they knocked I mean. it out of the park with that. Yeah. Anyway, Adam's yeah. family. Yeah, <laughs> Adam's family. <laughs> the bosses are big and weird. Yeah, <laughs> they are big and weird. That is true. There's a snowman. Isn't that a band, know. big and weird? Uh, <laughs> That's my sorry. dick, John. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that was a McDonald's hamburger, I believe. The big and weird. <laughs> the Mick big, the Mick big and weird. <laughs> uh. Oh, shit. Uh, that and the Arch Deluxe. <laughs> I did love an Arch Deluxe. Arch hey, Deluxe. I like the Arch Deluxe. Mm. It had seasoning on it that like none of the other burgers had, I feel like. Yeah, so then the bun was different too. Yeah. But yeah, I, mean, I used to eat them in college. My freshman year of college. <laughs> in 2002. The period, because I feel like, oh man, I went all throughout graduate high school. I went to college for like two weeks. And then went to culinary school for like three weeks. And then so like those next 10 years basically didn't exist. I went from 2002 to like 2016. <laughs> <laughs> those, that big gap is like it almost just wasn't there. Yeah, that's... That's, that's why when I'm like, oh, you know, that was like 10 years ago. So like 1998. Well, see... <laughs> that's the last see, 30 years of my life but, you just described. Yeah, I was about to say. I was about to say. But see, that's how time works for everyone. The difference is uh, you enjoyed those years. Because <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> I did not. <laughs> no, no, no. There's a lot of years where it's just like, what was I doing? Why? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Why was I doing that? I thought I was doing the right thing, but now I got nothing to show for any oh. of that shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys got any achievements? Uh, actually, if I may, please, I have. Five mm, achievements. Whoa, Shit. What? All of my achievements are based off of quotes from Wednesday Adams from either the Adams family or Adams family values. Fucking nice. <laughs> are we ready for this? Yeah. Let me. Eat me. <laughs> Eat me. <laughs> I'll play the victim all your life. And to get, I'll play the victim all your life. Rescue Wednesday. 
That's, and I'm Bravo, like, that, sir. That's a good joke. That's a good joke. It's such a good that's joke. That's a good yeah. joke. It yeah, holds it is. up God. today. That's, that's what I go that's to. from the 90s. When I tell yeah. people that's why this movie's so funny and these movies are so brilliant because that whole, that's a good both joke. fucking movies are just that shit. All the all the time. That's a good joke. It's great delivery. Perfect oh, delivery. Yeah, God. the delivery is is fake, fucking fantastic. All right, next up, ready? Is that your bathing suit? Is that your overbite? <laughs> <laughs> and to get, is that your bathing suit? Is that your overbite? Fall into the piranha pool in the chain room at the end and have to start the maze all over again. I only know this because I used a passcode that lets you jump right to the end as if you had just gotten all of them rescued and then I just wanted to I just wanted to mess around in the final level. Uh, I didn't even the, see the, the final level. The I don't bottom even know what it's, of the, like. it's a chain room full of chains and spikes and it's a maze and you go in the wrong door and you're back to the beginning. Wow, if you goodness. fall into the piranha pool, yeah. just FYI and you get out, you're back to the beginning. Okay. Don't fall into the okay. piranha pool. All right. Uh, next up, I'll clean your room in exchange for your mortal soul. And to get, I'll clean your room in exchange for your mortal soul. Find Pugsley's den uh, in the house lobby nice. and get all the bonus good goodies. I was waiting for an Alf Pogs reference. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> oh, speaking Pugsley's of. Pugsley's back in pug form. <laughs> in pug form. In pug form. <laughs> Spe- speaking of, uh, we fucked up pretty bad. Um it was not Wade Boggs. Yeah, I know. I, know. I saw that. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was Don Matting. Yeah, it was Matting. Oh, oh, that's yeah. my oh, fault. Man. That's it's my fault. The, it's no, in it was, your time travel. I was pretty I sure it got was Wade Boggs, that episode, too. Man, <laughs> it was... I don't know shit about baseball Should. except from the early 90s. <laughs> Should have hung out, man. Should have hung out. It was Barbecue Baron Drew. Yeah. Uh, he, Simpsons, oh, Simpsons yeah. expert who chimed in on that uh, on Discord. Forced you yeah. to retire after that. I mean, Yeah, I resigned. Yeah. I resigned. I'm just doing this for, you know, as like, I'm like a member of the board now. I don't actually work here. <laughs> you just get paid in stock options. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. Uh, my fourth achievement. Yes. Nobody gets out of the Bermuda Triangle, not even for a vacation. Everyone knows that. And to get that, uh, give up altogether after playing the Rose Room for literally two hours. <laughs> I could, I had so much trouble. It's one of those <laughs> underground ones that just kept fucking with me. I finally gave got got through most of it, but that's kind of where I left off. Yeah, it's after I had done the Wednesday thing, I was exhausted, and this was just taking too much time. So, here's my final achievement. Okay, are we ready for this? Yes, this one's gonna take a minute. Please. You have taken the land, which is rightfully ours. <laughs> Years from now, my people will be forced to live in mobile homes on reservations. Your people will wear cardigans and drink highballs. We will sell our bracelets by the roadside. You will play golf and enjoy hot hors d'oeuvres. My people will have pain and degradation. Your people will have stick shifts. The gods of my tribe have spoken. They have said, do not trust the pilgrims, especially Sarah Miller. And to get that, I'm not going to read it. <laughs> uh, go to get the aforementioned achievement. achievement. Uh, go right to the big bird fight and kill the bird for an extra heart as soon as you start the game, as opposed to going all the way through the underground. Uh, and, and that was pretty much just for you, David. Thank you. I appreciate it. I, I would also like to say that uh, knowing uh, now that Wednesday comes from the fourth uh, richest, fictitious family in history, really kind of kills that a little bit <laughs> <laughs> that whole speech because it's like come on yeah, girl you're super come on, rich come on girl yeah. what the fuck <laughs> exactly <laughs> uh, i have one achievement uh that came in from twitch chat this came in from uh one game bug prime uh nate eaton which is i'm scrolling i'm scrolling i'm scrolling melt bad mr frosty in order to, in order to like melt bad mr frosty that's a clay fighters reference mm-hmm, very choice mm-hmm. I recommend it if you have the means. Uh, in order to unlock a melt bad Mr. Frosty, beat the snowman boss without taking damage, nice. which is very hard. Because <laughs> he functions essentially like um, any Castlevania golem boss. Okay. Because he'll move across the screen and then drop icicle spikes from the ceiling, you know, instead of like stone blocks. I have two achievements. All right. Sweet. My first one is, my name is Gomez Adams. 
you have kidnapped my family. <laughs> Prepare to die. <laughs> nice. nice. Crossover. A little I Princess Bride I crossover. You Bro. unlock that by beating every boss with the sword. Okay. Nice. Wouldn't it be great if Andre the Giant had played Lurch at one time? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, you know, I could see uh, Mandy Patinkin playing uh, Gomez at some point. I mean, he could probably pull that okay, off. Okay. Okay. Let's recast... Um, the Adams family with characters from The Princess Bride. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> nah. So Uncle That's, Fester, yeah. Uncle Fester has is, to be Fazzini. Is yeah, 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 yeah. Wallace is wait. Who's Pugsley? Who's gonna be Pugsley? Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh uh, Billy Max. Crystal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I like that. Miracle That's Max. interesting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Mil- Miracle Max. Yes. And then, of course, Granny would be his wife. His wife. Yeah, okay. Okay. That, makes, that makes sense. I mean, you got to put Wesley in there, but where? Like, ah, that's a tough one. Wesley's I mean, going to be tough. Uh, we're gonna, it'd be, yeah. Because he's a Gomez type. He's right? a, he, is he is a Gomez, a Gomez type. type. He's he got a Mandy Patinkin. So is Mandy Patinkin. Hmm. So that he's Fester? Stuff. Fester. <laughs> <laughs> or he's Thing. He's just dressed in black. <laughs> and you can see it. <laughs> there you go. Um. Of course, I mean that leaves the and, Robin and Wright pen not, or Robin no, Wright to yeah, be she's Morticia. Morticia. She's no Morticia. That doesn't really count. Oh, yeah. I mean, but that's all we've got because there's really only yeah, one female no, lead yeah. in Princess Bride, so that doesn't that doesn't hold hold up. Yeah, but probably. Robin Wright is really tall, like Morticia, so maybe that maybe that says something. Or right now, who is recast Robin as family right with your dream oh. cast? Period. Oh, I like this Who, who else? You have to recast Jason them. Bateman, Jason Bateman, Jason Bateman, Jason Bateman, and Jason Mark, Bateman. And Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> Brad Pitt eats a sandwich. Paul Rudd is Lurch. Hello. Oh, there are treats. Oh, there are treats. Yeah, Melissa, what's up? Mm, oh, my God. Right she's got a freaking yeah. oven mitt. Holy shit. <gasps> Cinnamon rolls and... John, can you take those? And, and just, yeah, and just coffee those. cups. There's nothing in them. <laughs> that is not true. Okay, Tyler. I love you. you. Thank you, my dear. <laughs> nope. Clear Holy that spot shit. right there. Yeah. Somebody. I got a good grip on it. I don't think you're clearing that spot. Here, here, here. Maybe. Oh, you dropped it. Yeah. What? That, that was fell. some some liquid. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> the spiders will get it. That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh shit! I don't know what to do with that, man. So who wants who wants uh, Baymax? Is that hot chocolate? It is. Oh my there's god! There's marshmallows in it too. These are cinnamon rolls. So there's a, there's the cactus. C- the mugs are the cactus mug, the friends mug, the Baymax mug, and the my really hot wife mug. Cactus me. Oh my god! Thank Not you, bad. sir. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. Cinnamon. Holy shit. That woman. I swear to God. I know. I know. You want pause? Yes. (laughs) Cinnamon roll break. Welcome to the Tadpole. Cinnamon roll. Break experience. The guys definitely have their cinnamon rolls their hands right now enjoy that thought and we'll be right back sorry man out we were recasting right That's... all right there's we're, our we're there's our hot chocolate cinnamon and piss break <laughs> <laughs> i don't think dalton has a song for us for that one <laughs> particularly we'll just play the p one maybe Dream casting for Ab's family. I've had time to think about this, and I still don't know. I don't know either because it's just. <laughs> Let's do it I mean, together. It already was so well cast. We got to yeah, do it together. Hard, so like, if they're gonna, they're, they have to redo it. They have to. And Hollywood's like, I don't know you any boys. You boys get to pick. I don't you, know any kids. <clears throat> I don't know any kid actors. I can't you do I, Sarah Silverman as Morticia. I could. Mm. I mean, I could kind of see it. I like Sarah Silverman a lot. I don't know if that's. But I don't know. If she's for her. Marion okay. Cotillard as Morticia Adams. Oh, okay. Who okay. is that now? Um, and the last thing mainstream I saw her in was she was Talia Al Ghul in Dark Knight Returns. Yeah. 
Oh, Dark Knight Rises, okay. Yeah. I okay. can see that. Okay. A, Not quite she's, so tall and willowy, she's but... She's short. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say, she's really short, so they'd have to do some like Lord of the Rings-style shit with her to yeah. make her look tall. <laughs> Oscar Isaacs for Gomez, Ooh. possibly. Mm. Ooh. Deben, a good Debonair Gomez. <clears throat> I can get behind that. It's tough to recast Gomez because Raul Julia was so, like, He's the bar perfect. is so fucking high. Perfect. Sean Astin. I was, man, I was just about to say it. I was just about to say Why it. Why not? He learned from the mm. best. He'd slim down. They made him the look short. They, they make can make him look tall. Yeah. That's <laughs> like, I'm with you. I don't know any child Vin, actors Vin, Vin right Diesel now. Vin Diesel as Uncle Fester. <laughs> yes, I'm no, in. I'm fucking in. The yes. Rock is Lurch. I was gonna say. <laughs> oh, there we go. Man. There we go. They are family, after all. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, <laughs> <for> the family. <laughs> Sorry. That's, no, that was no, no, no. That, do not apologize for that. <laughs> that was a joke that was too late. That's what. I, that's the part that I'm apologizing for. <laughs> that's a hot meme for a week. <laughs> yes, it was. Um. Who else? I mean, I guess one of the kids from Stranger Things. All right, Eleven from Stranger Things could be Wednesday. Okay, I could see that. You know, that. she could probably Eleven pull and, that off. and Finn yeah. Wolfhard. And Finn Wolfhard as Pugsley, Pugsley, only a really, really lanky, tall <laughs> Pugsley. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, I have fatten that kid that. up. Though. Show him some dedication. He has to gain 70 pounds for the part. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Christian You're not willing Bale to Christian Bale that it. shit. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that Christian, Christian Bale, could, Bale do that. could do cousin it. Yeah. <laughs> Snoop, Snoop Dogg did it. Yeah. Christian Bale could do oh, it. There you go. <laughs> Who Debbie? Who's a good oh, Debbie? Oh God, I man, I me and Joan Cusack. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> That's a tough mm. one. Mm. Um um uh, Harley Quinn. I know you love Joan Cusack. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know that I like you mouthed it. Yeah. Like, no, I know that you do. You Margot, Robbie. Margot, Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie. Okay. okay. She right. could totally do that. Yeah. She's okay. got, yep. got that white trash element for sure. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> you know? okay. She's she's the <clears throat> the still sure she's still alive reincarnation of Jamie Jamie Presley's uh, <laughs> blonde white trash. Yeah, from my name is that, Earl. That's who I thought. I thought that was her on that uh, Tanya Harding movie. Oh, really? I was like, oh, yeah. that's Jamie. No, that's Margot Robbie. Yeah, yeah. Okay, she could be. They could be related. Movie. Yeah, they could, they could, that could was be good. related. Yeah. So I think we've covered Fester. We well, we oh, said uh, Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel would be Fester. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that was. I thought I, Lurch. I thought we had Lurch. Was the Rock? Lurch the oh, rock. okay, okay, okay. All right, we did it. They got him one. <laughs> Congratulations, boys. Um, Whose thing? Yeah, that's about it. Uh, who's uh, David Duchovny's hand model from Zoolander? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> that's perfect. I do like that. Now in a hmm, now in a Seinfeld parallel to the Adams family. Mm, mm-hmm. Well, I mean. Jason Alexander is is faster, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. He I might mean, be a good Gomez. Nah, Kramer nah. definitely gives me more fester vibes than Oh, okay, okay. Just because of, you know, the uh, abject racism, really. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, I was thinking of Jason Alexander because of, I don't know, like He's a short bald dude. He's a short bald <laughs> or, dude. Or yeah. is it all the Pugsley? Well, and like he was on that episode of Voyager. Pugsley's short and bald and pudgy. Creepy. Well, is it he all? Let's mix it up. Is it all their parents then? <clears throat> so then are um, are Jerry's parents Gomez and Morticia? God yes. Yeah. <laughs> God yes. <yeah. laughs> and, and Boca Raton. <laughs> and then Unc- Uncle Leo. Uncle Leo is Uncle Fester. Oh, totally. <laughs> oh, yeah. Totally. <laughs> see that. And Call then, me. <laughs> and then you've got, uh, Who is Jerry Stiller? <laughs> you've got George as Pugsley, and then Elaine as Wednesday. Okay, that makes sense. Where's Jerry fit into all this? Lurch. Yeah, he he has to be their butler. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good joke. <laughs> That's a good joke. I appreciate that joke. That's a good joke. No one got uh, someone out there didn't get that. <laughs> oh, you fucking missed out. That was a fucking good joke. <laughs> I like that a lot. 
Have y'all watched any Lego Seinfeld on TikTok? No. <laughs> what? What is this? What? <laughs> oh, God. I also didn't know that was a thing. Me? They have a bunch of clips uh, where they've animated Legos uh, in recreate. They, there's a Seinfeld Lego set. Is this on John Book? Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, because John didn't know about this. Uh, but they just take it's clips. Gonna be. They take clips from the show and reenact them with Legos. It's oh, like stop I stop motion. That. It's I awesome. That. Yeah, it's stop that motion. That sounds amazing. Yeah. All right, check it out on TikTok. <laughs> do they use the original sound, or mm -hmm. do they? Okay. Yeah, they do the original sound and just do Legos instead of the actual. People. All right. Okay. There's quite a few clips too. Yeah, I believe it. I mean, they've I mean, been yeah. they've been busy at it for a while, I guess. But I just now found it today. So. Yeah, we've had a crazy couple of years. Yeah. yeah, I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> People have had they've had some time on their hands. It's like Adam Scott in Parks and Rec making <laughs> his clean <laughs> the cones. <laughs> yeah, the cones of Dunham or whatever. Dunshire. Dunshire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, when he lost his job and he spends three months making five seconds of the claymation, the guy waking up. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I thought I made you so much more. <laughs> Dude, I got to be honest with you. Like, uh, Ben in uh, Parks and Rec, like the, like, the accountant job, like, that is like... <laughs> That's my fucking dream to go somewhere and just be like the Michael Jordan of this like mediocre ass like workplace where they just worship you and it's just like uh, okay. I love the look on his face when he goes back for like a day and they have the calzone party and he turns around and just twinks like that's like calzone dance. I love it. all of that all of that stuff like anytime that is like a like a. Central focus in the show. Oh, it's Chef's Kiss. I, I love that. God, I love it so much. Uh, you got any more questions? Uh, got cheap out of the way. Uh, Tyler? Yes, Dave. If you were to give this game a beard, what kind of beard would it be? The mustache of Gomez Adams. All right, okay. Be, that makes sense. Solid. Perfect. All right. No, no reason to explain on that one. I get it. Yeah, that's no, good. It's it, raw, raw Julia's mustache. Mm -hmm. That's Gomez Adams. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. It's a little thinner. It's a little thinner. Okay, all right. But it works. All right. All right, Tyler. Yes, if you give this game a pair of glasses, sums up how you feel about it. What kind of glasses would you give it? That one's a little more difficult. It is tough. Because I can't think. Didn't of... cousin it wear glasses? At one point, you are yeah. correct. So you probably correct. those, right? Yeah, yeah. we'll do that. Yeah. We'll do that. Because <laughs> there was a scene in my head. I don't know if it even exists or mm. not. Of them having a giant magnifying glass to read very tiny letters in a book. But I don't know if I just fabricated that memory or not. Mm. I was honey. I shrunk the kids. Probably. <laughs> because then it was going to be a whole. You don't need the magnifying glass to see how good this movie is. No, I think I think there was. It was when uh, the lawyer was in there. Looking through f the paperwork or something. Was it so, yeah, cause I, I feel like that's in there. He somewhere was he was somewhere trying to get he was trying to get Gomez to invest in something, and Gomez was like, "Ah, we we is, we wait till the first of the month for new business." New, uh, new business. Yeah, he's flipping through the roll <laughs> yeah. super fast. Man, I haven't seen that movie in a long time, <laughs> and I wanted to watch it, you know, before recording, but I couldn't find it anywhere streaming on like any service that I already had. Um, right now, I think it's on on cable, like yeah, Xfinity, mm. like on demand type. Man, thing, I gotta yeah. get that cable, I guess. Mm. But they, I love those little like the books, the books, Old Man and the Sea, yeah. and the fucking rain <laughs> and shit comes out. And then there's one point where the lawyer's just sitting there with the sun also rises open, and he's tanning. It's just shit like that. I just love that fucking those it's movies. Like, the good movies. Yeah. They're good movies. When he calls Sally Jesse Raphael, <laughs> I forgot about Mr. Where? Adams. Please stop calling. <laughs> we don't know where they meet. <laughs> Adams Family Values is definitely the better of the two the movies, though, in my opinion. I, it's more, it's wittier. Yeah, but um, then in, but I don't think I like them both the same. But yeah. that one is definitely wittier, and I think that has a lot to do with the fact that Pugsley and Wednesday are older. And they're able to deliver right. those, dude. Yeah, that whole like the whole camp shit. God. I mean, that is like that is the it's best. Gold. And it's... Pubert, 
I was like, I know. It's so great. Yeah. It's so rare that they're like, and we added a baby, and it's great. But it was great. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and the commercial that's in, it's fucking blazoned in my mind forever. The fucking air scene where they're in an airplane and then you just see pubert pop up through the airplane window and, and laugh. And <laughs> yes. it's like that was like the one yeah. scene that they were like, okay, you can use these in every like McDonald's commercial, whatever you want. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Damn. I just remember in the, when they're in the motel and Gomez is calling Sally Jesse, Jesse Raphael outside where they're selling oh my cookies. God. It's the girl from the that song in the second one. Yeah. Yeah. She's selling the she's cookies. In really? it. Yeah. <laughs> she's in both movies and she's like they're like selling what are what is Pugsley and Wednesday selling? They're selling like it's poison to, or something. Yeah, yeah. But like said, coming to our lemonade stand. Is it and she's <laughs> Is it made with real lemons? And she said, then Wednesday's like, I don't know. Are your cookies made from real Girl Girl Scouts? Scouts? (laughs) It's just like, God, (laughs) damn it. It's so good. And and then that same actress is then Harmony and Buffy five or six years later. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Tried going back to Buffy. I wanted Melissa to watch Buffy and. Man, season one of that show was real rough. Mm. I bounced <laughs> off when I tried yeah, to get into rough, it. But I tried man. to get into it way after the me craze. Too. That happened yeah. to me. And too. I watched the first season and I was like, God, yeah. this is fucking bad. Yeah. It didn't And not. I didn't make it through it and like I just gave up exactly on it. Exactly the same thing happened to me. The, that's one of those where Yeah, you gotta come in later. Yeah, season one it's, is not good. Season one is not good at all. Even though I can't appreciate they have like a fucking Nosferatu in that one. As the the master, I do like a Nosferatu. He and because you don't see another one like him ever. And then season two is where shit gets real with Angel. That's good. Buffy peaks at season three for me. Love season three. Then it's all. It still stays good. It's but really season three so is best. Yeah, well, that. then that's when Angel splits off, and I think Angel is ten times better than Buffy. Hmm. Hmm. See, I never watched Angel. I I watched most, if not all, of Buffy, but I just I couldn't get into Angel. For some Angel reason. has probably <clears throat> one of my top five finale episodes for a show. Period. Love the end of Angel. Okay. It's dark and it hurts. It hurts mm. so good. Mm. It hurts so good. I like the way that. Yeah, yeah. I like that sound. Yeah. <laughs> Might get any more questions? Maybe. Maybe I guess. I like to have some questions. I guess some questions. How Are we gonna look in that book? You want to look in the book? Let me look in that book. We can look in the book. You want to look in the book? Can I finally yeah. look at the, the <laughs> section? No, you don't get to look that at you've it. been blocking off from me. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I need to make my mouth drier to say no properly to you. <laughs> Uh, would you like to know what Flopsy says about this game? <laughs> I would love to know. What, what do you Flopsy. think? What do you, you got to guess? What do you think? Flop? What do you think Flopsy gave? I'm this? A, well, by I'm Flopsy, do you mean the Ultimate Nintendo Guide to the, the SNES, SNES Library, library 1991, 1991 to 1998, 1998 by, by Pat, Pat Country, Country, courtesy of Monster Mole Mike? Yeah, <laughs> that very one indeed. Yes, cool. Tyler. <laughs> if they gave this game less than four stars, I'm going to be sad. I don't think they gave it. Yeah, I don't. I don't you think know? they gave it four stars. Is my guess. Okay. I, don't well, think, I just don't think they think it's a four star game. Hmm. I think you're probably right, but I think it's just based on what you guys said about this game. Yeah. It feels like it deserves. Four we did stars. gush. I'll we go. did gush over it. That is yeah, true. We no, did gush but I mean, over it. it sounds like it was warranted, though. I liked you it. Know? I liked it. I think it'll have three. I'm sticking to my guns. Four. I say three and a half. Okay. According to Flopsy. The Ultimate Nintendo Guide to the SNS Library, 1991 through 1998, <laughs> by Pat Country, courtesy of Monster Mole Mike. Uh, it is three stars. All Here right, Three Tyler. stars. Uh, the Reflections starts. Oh. Here we get to the real reason why it's three oh. stars. Are you ready? This is, from, <laughs> this is from reviewer <laughs> MV. Oh, my wife <clears> with her maiden name. Michael Vick. <laughs> 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 reflections. Nice football reference. <laughs> I was I was more like an animal cruelty reference. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, <I> <laughs> That's how we know them around here. <laughs> it, it do go both ways. It do. Uh, oh, is he a sportsman? <laughs> <laughs> they play sports ball. I professional call sports ball. Dog fighting's not a sport, John. <laughs> 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 they don't have a professional league or nothing. They do. I mean, we don't know that. Yet. <laughs> that you know of, right? Right. They do though. 
<laughs> Dude, it's not sponsored by Pepsi. <laughs> it's not broadcast. It's sponsored on by CBS. RC. <laughs> <laughs> RC brings you Michael Vick's dog. <laughs> it's, it's a new esport sponsored by Rockstar Energy Drink. <laughs> and brought to you by Yeti. <laughs> <laughs> Yeti diet squirt dog fighting. Uh, <laughs> Real Tree presents. <laughs> You're on the Oak Show. <laughs> <laughs> the, re- the reflections for the Adams Family video game starts out. I was more of a Munsters fan growing up. Fuck that oh, guy. Fuck, you. fuck that guy. Bias. <laughs> Bias. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe don't start with that. Yeah. Right. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. No. Fuck. Bias. I didn't read the rest of it. It probably says, but the Adams family was actually pretty good. But whatever. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, well, they only gave it three stars, so fuck. Them. Yeah, I think that's. <laughs> I think it's a misstep. Does this belong on IGN's top one hundred Super Nintendo games or Tadpog's top one hundred? Well, that's tough. John, what are you, you looking around? What no, you no, I, I want to see what you guys. I'm, I'm curious. Honestly, I think it probably like does curious. on IGN. At least, I think there's probably a few games on there that it could replace without yeah. hurting anybody's feelings. Yes. Uh, and I would probably put it up here in Tadpog's list as well. I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot, too. I just don't know. I don't it, know where in there. But. It might breach our top 150. Yeah, yeah I feel fair. a lot that's more fair. comfortable about that than 100. Mm-hmm. But then again, Ian, you're right. I mean, there are definitely games on IGN's list that it's like, I'd rather play The Addams Family. Right. I think it. What I think what hurts it is that it is such a Mario clone. It is. It, there's no. It hurts, I mean, it there's helps. literally fireballs that come out of lava. I mean, it's. It sounds the same like sprite. it sounds like a Mario clone with a lot more depth, though. Well, it's just, got a, just the way the you guys describe it. it yeah. You know, and it does combine. It is like if you. It's. It does feel like a ROM hack of Mario One, Two, and Three kind of put mm-hmm. together. Because there's a segment where you're climbing uh, in the conservatory. You're climbing from ropes. That are configured in a way that's very reminiscent of the vines, vines. in Super Mario Brothers 2. I mean, it's like... And it's hard as shit to jump from rope to rope. <laughs> it is. I could not get that right. It is very hard to jump. Anyway. Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> 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 it's in the top 100. Um, I'm interested in possibly purchasing this game. Yeah? Yeah. If, if we were to were. buy it, what do you think? How much do you think that'd be? I'm tired. <laughs> thanks. No, that's good. That's, thanks. Good. that's thanks. what I'm here for. I'm thanks for doing all the I got, segments I, got for you me. I do appreciate yeah. it, guys. Um, I'd say this one, I'd say it was probably f- common to uncommon, mm-hmm. uh, especially since it was kind of an early release and it followed a major motion picture. I mean, the Piggly Wiggly. And the Piggly Wiggly fucking had two on, games. Yeah, yeah on Southside Paducah <laughs> had this. So, so. I'm, I'm going to say this one's probably out there for nine ninety five. Nine ninety five. Tyler, what do you think? Eleven fifty. Eleven fifty. I'm going high. Fourteen eighty five. Fourteen eighty five. Columbus ate some mighty thighs. No. Uh, actual retail value <laughs> of probably did. Yeah. Adam's family, the Adam, Adam's family, comma the loose for the Super Nintendo on average, according to PriceCharting.com, is at the time of this recording. At the time of this recording, twenty two dollars and forty four cents. Damn! I mean, it is a Super Nintendo game, and it is twenty twenty one. So, well, yeah, yeah that's true. Pre pandemic, it probably been closer to like Ian's number. <laughs> yeah, I I remember looking at the chart because I was like, when I saw twenty. I wanted to look up how much it was, obviously for the show, but also because I want to buy this game. That's a good one to buy. Yeah. yeah. For and, entertainment and collecting. And for collecting, because I don't own this one yet. Um, I only own Pugsley's Scavenger Hunt. Um, and that's really, I don't even, I guess one day I'll fucking own the Adam's Family Values. But um, yeah, I want to buy this, so I looked it up, and I was like, eh, I could probably, I could swing that. I don't know that I would... I don't really want to go out of my way and order it online and pay the shipping and all that for it. Mm. But, you know, if I could find it at a convention or something, that's good. You guys have me curious what the actual um, rarity of it is. Mm-hmm. I imagine it's probably pretty common, I would think, because it's I a movie tie-in. That's, yeah. that's what we were saying is that it's probably common or uncommon. Yeah, it's common. Okay, yeah, it's cool. common. Um, yeah, all right, cool. I have some more questions for you guys. Mm, awesome. Is that it? Are we done with the? Are we done with things? Yeah, I think right. so. Yeah. 
We have one Ross Rachel Green from across the pond sent in a quiz if we're interested in that. Let's do a quiz. All right. I'm super excited. Ross, can you film yourself doing a daily double for one of these questions one day? Boop, boop, boop. Doot, doot, doot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was a daily McDouble. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, I like a McDouble. It's a good. It's I do, too. That's a yeah, fine yeah. cheeseburger. Value. It is. The value cheeseburger, yeah, yeah. A good value cheeseburger. It's an economical decision. I, it's a tasty I, economical decision. I prefer a quarter pounder with cheese, but I, you know, we hey, talked yeah, about this on Discord can. today. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, you can't always can't always swing that quarter pounder. You can pretty much always swing a McDouble. I don't know. You get one McDouble though. You you get two of them. <laughs> now you're in a quantity He's versus right. quality thing. My my typical, if I'm just want something to fill me up on a hurry, is two McDoubles, extra pickles, extra onions. Can't just yes. get, you can't just get one McDouble. Yes, it's mm -hmm. so, impossible. That, you it, order one McDouble and they're like, "Sir, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> We're worried about you." Yeah, we you know we can't break these out of the pack like that, sir. <laughs> Were they? Buying... It's like a McDLT. It comes in the, <laughs> the styrofoam together. Yeah, right. But, but they have all the stuff in there to make a McDLT. <laughs> you sounded like Richard Nixon. <laughs> but order me. I was saying it like Michael Dorn oh, um, in the Family uh, Guy. Yeah, there's oh, a good one. There's an episode of Family Guy sorry, where it's sorry. the whole cast of Next Generation. Uh, and Michael Dorn who plays Worf is uh, all like, "I want a McDLT." Uh, <laughs> okay. like, they don't have the McDLT anymore, but they have all the stuff in there to make it. So Even tell them I want the McDLT. <laughs> You know, a real Family Guy kick, yeah. Sorry, yeah, I don't know. They I'm have just, good. Hey, hey, I mean, he made the or the Orson. He's got some good Star Trek shit going on. You never have to family apologize guy. to me, John. Orville, Charlie. it's all right. Orville. Thank you. <laughs> the, or the Orkin. That's the, that's the pest control company. <laughs> the I think if you order two McDoubles, you're supposed to call it a McQuattro. You should just to see if it works. I, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought of you, John. And this fi this Family Guy stuff reminded me. So uh, I get all of my knowledge from TikTok. I saw <laughs> a TikTok about someone someone is claiming that the origin of the word yeet. Have you seen this? So good. No, no, <laughs> I haven't seen this. So it's from a season four <laughs> episode of King of the Hill <laughs> called uh, the Lady Ladybird Killer, where Dale. <laughs> is in the woods and he's got a walkie talkie and uh he does it doesn't have batteries uh or maybe it's not a walkie talkie it's like a recorder where he's like recording notes and yeah, shit and like yeah, one of the notes do, is yeah. is to like get new batteries and then he throws the recorder and when he does he says yeet and i like when i watched it i was like i showed it to nikki and i was like did somebody edit this? And then neither of us had the, <laughs> neither of us had the energy to watch the episode. Um, but but I always think of, the reason I thought of you is because I always think of you yeah. when I think of King, King of the, the Hill. Hill. Yeah, yeah. That, that one that one girl who does like serious breakdowns of every episode of the King of the Hill. She, I haven't seen that. She who was, is this she, goddess? It's, it's a good channel. Queen of the it's Hill. It's a good channel. Oh, <laughs> fucking opportunity. Man. That, so she responds to that video that guy makes. She goes. I don't believe this. I'm ah. going to look into this. Oh, so there's a follow-up. So she goes and starts trying to pull script, original scripts to see what does he say. Like what it's written. Yeah. So like yeah. The, the thing that he says that is in the episode, whatever that thing is it's he says. It's just like unintelligible garbling in the script. Because it sounds like fucking yeet. So it does. It sounds like yeet. She says it's him just saying G G H. but it does. It sounds like yeah. yeet, and there's no definition of what is in the script. So it was ad-libbed. It was it looked like it was he just saw unintelligible, so he just put syllables together when he threw it. So Maybe. it does sound like he's saying yeet and using it correctly. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> and this is like nineteen ninety eight, I think. That's good. Nice. God, I hope that's I love correct. It. <laughs> that makes me happy. I mean, where else did it come from? I I, I don't know. No, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm passing that shit off as gospel, though. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, fact. <laughs> yeah. he, 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 it's, it's good. It's really good. It sounds just like it. It, it sounds just, but it makes sense because if you think about it, that's probably not the first time. Someone probably said that throwing something in the fucking 16th century just because it's like <laughs> your body, you're compressing your lungs when you throw something so that ee sound comes <laughs> out. It's just what you start, what consonant you start it with and end it with. <laughs> yep. I don't know. 
Anyway, Ross says it finally happened. COVID is in the house. Oh, no. Oh, no. Damn. And perhaps unsurpri- unsurprisingly, it was a seven year old German, uh, German factory. <laughs> <laughs> we sent yeah, our son to work yeah. in a German yeah, factory. No. <clears throat> this fucking bitch ass brings back COVID. See the, I see the house remodel yeah. is going right. well. Yeah. We <laughs> sent him to Obendorf. <laughs> he came back with the COVID. <laughs> Did you hear about the German factory Ross just bought? <laughs> we make the best Germans. <laughs> And perhaps the unsurprisingly, Germans. before the Germans the arrive, Germans. it Mr. was Simpson. You've been sitting there dreaming <laughs> for five ooh, minutes. Ooh, the Germans! The Germans are coming I'm so to get scared. me. <laughs> <laughs> it was the seven-year-old germ factory who got it. Mm. Honestly. <laughs> Kids are what are you scared of, Tommy? The Germans. <laughs> You're fine. I love Snatch. It's all good, and all the senses. Uh, honestly, kids are gross. I have never been so sick since living with that filthy little <laughs> monster. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> but it's not all bad. I quite like having him around. So for the next few weeks, I will be working from home to prevent spreading germs and definitely not playing a pirated server for Warhammer Age of Reckoning. So that's a gateway game, Ross. You're gonna lose all your money. You're gonna lose all your fucking reckoning. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we have done the top 100, okay, top 90 SNES games. So it's on to the top 25 in 64 games. I might be able to help with this one. All right, hurl. <laughs> There's, oh, stop I, it. I wish my Photoshop skills were better because Simone posted a picture of Ross. Just with a sticker on his head that says this Ross. Says Ross, yeah. I it really like wanted to go in there. Is and this on John Book? It's, it needs to be on John. It needs to be on John <laughs> Book, <laughs> so I can yeah, see it. No, no, I commented on that. I said this looks like the if, album cover. If you cover. do John Book, I'm sure Dave will also quit Facebook. <laughs> I'm. I l- all, everybody, everybody switching to John Book. <laughs> all I do <laughs> is get a video from YouTube. I download it. Backlog Banisher Dane puts it up. I download it. And on Wednesday morning, I go, Facebook.com, Tadpog, upload video, paste, (laughs) done. And then I fucking put my hands up, and I close the window, and I'm done. I'm all about John Book, is what I'm trying to say. Okay. All right. Sign so help up. our new Kickstarter, $20, is the goal <laughs> to start John Book. Here. I'm going to look up. I'm no, going to take search. off I, where it says Ross and make it say Boat Race. <laughs> 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 no, I said this looks like, I, I made a comment on that that said something like, this looks like the album art yeah. of a, a band named Ross. <laughs> or, <laughs> or called Ross. That wanted an actual Ross for the cover. <laughs> you know, I find that the funniest Photoshops are are the worst ones. Oh, yeah. I just say follow your heart and go with it. Yeah. Okay. You're probably right. You are a graphic designer. Yeah, I can tell you. I've spent a lot of time on trying to make funny shit, and then it's like, oh, it's not as funny because it looks... Because it looks good. Fine. It looks professional. (laughs) I wouldn't say good, but thank you. I do appreciate that. You got to do Lord Mike and Purdue style with... Putting your head on a suit of armor with a toilet full of tampons, like I think his first Photoshop was, he submitted. That's exactly what you need to do. People <laughs> need to know that it's Photoshop so they know it's okay to laugh at it. Yeah, <laughs> yep. <laughs> and plus, part of the fun is when it looks horrible. It's true. This Not to say true. that Lord Mike's did. I mean, those were masterpieces, of course. <laughs> I can't do anything until I find out if johnbook.com is taken. So that's what I'm doing right now. Oh, I get it. You guys can do I whatever you want to do for the next two minutes. I'm totally not eating this last leftover cinnamon roll. <laughs> Johnbook.com. Buy now. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. That's Johnbook.club. Fuck that. No, Shit. Fuck that. Fuck that. Johnbook.fun. Uh, we, we need some. That's some plebeian bullshit. We need the dot com. We need the dot com. <laughs> we really do. Uh, org. Man, I'm real tempted to buy Johnbook.design. <laughs> <laughs> And start my freelance company, uh, John Book. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Dave got himself pretty. Good. <laughs> yeah. so, like I like the situation where people are like, I wonder why it's called John Book. 
<laughs> if you have to His ask. His name's not John. Did he buy the company from a guy named John? <laughs> is it just pictures of toilets? What is it? <laughs> I'm does sorry. He, does he make books? I don't understand. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have a non-disclosure agreement. I cannot discuss that. <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, Ross, first question is... This platforming sequel sees the sisters of the first game's antagonist, Mingella and Blabelda, freeing her from prison. It's Banjo Tooie. That's Banjo yeah, yeah. Tooie. John, you good with that? Yeah. Logging it in. <laughs> Yeet. <laughs> Yeet. Uh, Banjo Tooie. Honor. Yeet. Honor. <laughs> honor, Wilbur. <laughs> <laughs> See, you you just took it up a notch. <laughs> <laughs> Give uh, me my horse bat left. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Uh, this just, it's just horseshoes. <laughs> <laughs> just all, I'm just saddled. all crudely duct taped together <laughs> into a doing. Yeah, my yeah. family is saddled with shame and dishonor. <laughs> Oh, that's good. That's <laughs> fucking saddled. With, that's fucking good. <laughs> Put that shit on John Book, man. <laughs> it's a John, hot John hot. Book Audio. It's like an offspring. <laughs> <laughs> John Book dot audio. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this sequel introduced the minigame park is an area in White City where up to four players can play 12 different minigames. Though not required, characters from the player's inserted Game Boy cartridge can be used in certain minigames. Pokemon Stadium? It's got to be. Pokemon Stadium. Pokemon Stadium. Logging it in. It is Pokemon Stadium 2. <laughs> Good enough. Next question. This puzzle game tasked you with the tasks you with creating a pound I get drunk on one and a half beer. <laughs> <laughs> I put a decongestant Beer. in it. Oh my god! I it was hot you chocolate with moon, moonshine. This puzzle game tasked you with creating a path for a truck by destroying everything in its way. Is it Pepsi? No, it's not Pepsi Man's on N64 stop list. <laughs> I <laughs> wish it was though. Mm. Pepsi Man's a good game. Is it a path <laughs> for the a record. path for a truck or a path with a truck? For a truck. By destroying everything in its way. So like Bomberman 64, a mission or some shit? Probably. Bomberman 64. Are we good with this? Sure. Locking it in. It is Blast Core. Blast Core. Which I, no, we, no memory of that. Did we do None. that? No. I don't think we did that. Don't think we did either. No memory of it. Okay. Next question. In the game, players enter the bodies of animals, gaining their abilities in order to solve puzzles and defeat enemies. That's Little Nemo, the Dream Master for NES. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell us we're wrong. <laughs> Corporate, why don't you tell the difference between these two pictures? <laughs> <laughs> One is Little Nemo. The other is a picture of Ross with motor, <laughs> motorboat. <laughs> <laughs> fucking boat race. Boat race. Boat race. <laughs> I always think motorboat because, you know, that's like the thing. Yeah. That you do with your face. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what that is, a motorboat? You ever heard of that one? <laughs> that is like 90% of the conversation between me and my dad. <laughs> I'm saying something I have no knowledge of of me looking at him like <laughs> I just wanted to I just Am, am I am I dumb? I just wanted I just wanted to confuse John. The look on John's face is like, no, I know what a motorboat is. Why are Mission you accomplished. <laughs> Why are you asking me this? I thought I knew, but now I'm afraid to answer because yeah. what if I'm wrong? Yeah. <laughs> oh, gross. All this time. All gross. this time. Perverted John. <laughs> no. Was what? A motorboat. Oh, Good Lord. I'm John, John Book got porn. John, you're a father. <laughs> Oh, 
in the game, players enter the bodies of animals, gaining their abilities in order to solve puzzles and defeat an enemies. Because animals are really good at fucking puzzles, aren't they? Claymates. Pikmin Claymates. For the SNES. Is it a Pikmin? Did think, they make a Pikmin? I think the first Pikmin was GameCube. Oh, but I'm not okay. positive. I, I, wouldn't, I, think it was. I wouldn't bet money on it. But. Okay. What? Puzzle animals. Puzzle Mr. animal 64? Super puzzle animal 64. Super Mr. Puzzle 64. Lock in, yeah. <laughs> Lock it in. <laughs> it is Space Station Silicon Valley. Okay. What? Yeah, yeah. Are these games are these games that you played? No. I okay. said I could help. I can't. No. Oh, this is somebody else's top N64 list. Must okay. be. It's Ross's personal top okay. 25, maybe. Because, man, I was like, I don't remember these fucking it's, episodes at all. This is prom <laughs> I'm willing to bet you that this is, he doesn't specify, I'm willing to bet you this is IGN's. Makes sense. Because we did Dorkley's top 25. We did. And this is probably, yeah, this is my guess is IGN's. Okay, next question. This game released in 1999 featured a model of car that wasn't released until 2000, making it the first place to be able to experience it. Was this that fucking Volkswagen bug thing? Oh, remember the that? new Beetle. The, new, the Beetle. new Beetle was a thing. Yeah. What? Okay. Was it, there was, was a big, big bad Beetleborgs. In a video game? Big bag, big big bag Beetleborgs. I think there was a Volks. I swear to you, there was a Volkswagen bug racing game. I don't know what it was called. Let's just say that and roll with it. The, the Volkswagen bug racing game. Yes. Ooh, final yes. answer, locking it in. It is Beetle Adventure Racing. You got it. As Close. Far as wow. concerned, you got Close it. Close the fuck shit. enough. Yep. yep. <laughs> I cannot fucking believe you got that. <laughs> Next question. I mean, either. I've never played it. That sounds fucking horrible. Yeah. This first-party extreme sports game predates the most popular series by two years. First-party extreme sports game. What's so the... it's some like so Tony Hawk is the big dog. So it's an extreme like it's first party SSX though. Tricky. So it's Nintendo. Wave Race has to be. Could be. Has to be Wave yeah. Race. Yeah. Wave Race sixty four. Yeah. Locking it in. I like it. Wave Race sixty four. It is ten eighty degree snowboarding. Was that oh, a, did Nintendo do I that? remember that. Oh, I, did I didn't know that. Nintendo did that, but I remember that game. Yeah, I remember that game, but I had no idea it was Nintendo. Game. I'm looking this up. Snowboarding, because I didn't know. I, think, I didn't know I that was on like PS One. I kind of think I remember like Breath of Sound of that game. Man, yeah, it we really played it at Apex yeah. all the time. Yeah. Nintendo yeah. developed that game. I had no idea. That's fucking wild. So it was weird because oh. it was first person, not third person. Most of those games are third person. Oh, like. I don't think I ever played it. It was first person? Oh, I thought so. How no, was, how was, it was that playable? First person. It wasn't first person? Not the one we played at Apex all the time. Oh, never mind. I'm drunk. It's all good. Me too. And you've had way more than me. So, next question: This wrestling game featured a simple pick up and play style, and also a deep story mode with multiple branching pathways. No mercy. WWF. WWF. No mercy. Or is it yeah. okay? Logging it in. That's the one everybody talks about. You good, John? Call Guinness. That's fucking fantastic. All right, logging it in. It is WWF. No mercy. Nice. Well done. I'm completely fucking out of my element uh, with 64 games. <laughs> you, and me, you and me both. Yep. Next question. This game in a popular racing series had a fully 3D environment, but the racers and items were all pre-rendered 2D sprites. Got to be Mario Kart 64. Okay. Okay. Sounds Lock, good. Locking it in. I'm yeah. almost positive. Uh, it is Mario Kart 64, because that is that was one of my big complaints about that game. Next question. This much better racing game had a hub world, multiple different types of vehicle, fully 3D characters, and never got a proper sequel. It's Diddy Kong's Racing. Yep. yep. Locking that in, and it is Diddy Kong Racing. Next question. This game was programmed with 64 DD hooks, which allow it to detect whether the 64 DD is connected and compatible expansion software is loaded. This allows the cartridge-based game to be compatible with expansion discs such as track editors or course updates, but none of these were utilized outside of Japan due to the 64DD's commercial failure. It's got to be an F-Zero game, right? Maybe? That makes sense. Courses. Well, see, I don't think there was 
there was was there an F Zero game for the sixty four? Maybe there was for the sixty four DD. Ah. Uh, but I don't okay. know. It may be an Excite bike. I mean, this has got to be a first party. Yeah, thing. let's say F Zero. That makes the most sense. I, I don't know. I mean, makes the most sense. F Zero. We good to F-Zero. try it. Try it. F Zero. Logging it in. It is F Zero X. Good job. Nice. F Zero X. F Zero X. Zero eggs. F Zero eggs. I got F Zero eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Now for the real content. <clears throat> Fuck, Mary, kill. Mm. Here we go. Aunt Cass, Big Hero 6. Aunt Cass. I'm looking around the table is trying that, to... Is that like Man, the, there is a Baymax mug on the table. It's so weird that that... Yeah. Helen Parr, Incredibles. Oh. Uh, yeah. Is that the mom? Mm-hmm. I think it's so. It is. Laurel Lightfoot, Onward. Hmm. I really don't remember The Incredibles. Yeah, me too. I can't really I answer this. I remember the ant from... Uh, pull, let's pull up the ant. Being being very attractive. Yeah? yeah describe, uh, this, describe this attractiveness. What would you say the most appealing feature of Ant Cass? it got to be the ass, It's right? going to be that Pixar ass. It's, it's got to be the ass. For the Pixar ass is the thing, though. <laughs> for Elastigirl. So, I mean... Come on. Uh... Yeah, I mean, by far, like no matter what, it's wow. Is that freaking for real? <laughs> <laughs> you looking at Photoshop? Uh, I, I think Big it was, Hero Six I, Hentai I think over that, there. Yeah, that shit was not from the movie. <laughs> what I just saw on my phone was definitely not from the movie. You don't so remember the cum cast. swap in Big Hero Six? <laughs> <laughs> That's what Baymax is full of. Yeah. All the boys jerk off into his big, soft, well, billowy body. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can't. I don't even. I can't do it. I don't. I don't know, know the last one that he said. What was? Who was the last? Uh, one? Laurel Lightfoot. Is that like Artie Lightfoot's mom? Laurel Lightfoot from, from Onward. So she's a rat. She's or a. Possum a she's or like whatever. a. She's like a troll. She's like a. Oh, I have seen Onward. Oh, oh yeah, that's her. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm, I'm going to kill No her. offense, I'm probably killing her. I'm marrying Elastigirl. Ian, it's very hard to kill a troll. I don't know if you're aware. <laughs> 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 I'm not actually doing the killing. Okay. I'm hiring somebody else I'm to do the saying, killing. I'm just saying it might be more effort than it's worth. You might just want to fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> and then uh, the one from... This one's I don't know uh, Ant Cass. No, no, no. Aunt you Cass. would you would fuck Ant Cass. Like, then for sure. And then yeah. And then uh, you, the, you would. The, the, I know why. <laughs> I know, know you exactly what kind of what kind of hole you're into. You would fuck Ant Cass. I know you. I trust him. I do. <laughs> you would fuck Ant Cass. You're and not- you would definitely marry Elastigirl. And I'm sorry, you're a fool if you don't marry Elastigirl. <laughs> right. There's too much that could. It's too much. Holly, to do there. goddamn Hunter. <laughs> oh, did that's the right. Voice I forgot about that. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Yeah, I agree with Ian. Yep. Uh, okay. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Sure, it's done. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't. I don't know the characters that well. Good question. Yeah, it's a it's good question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tough, though, it's just a it's a rough I haven't one. seen any of those movies. Yeah, yeah. So, all right. Next, fuck, Mary, kill, chickens, ducks, geese, oh, as a pet. <laughs> As a pet? As a pet. Now, this is in my wheelhouse. (laughs) (laughs) I know you, Dave, and I know what kind of fowl you would marry. My my Uh, mom had a pet duck growing up. Really? My dad had a pet chicken. I remember having what? a pet. I remember having this a like pet Easter chicken. things. Pet like was chicken. the duck an no. Easter thing or just a? No, she just had a. She just had a duck. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna kill the goose right off. Me too. I know the other okay. two are compatible. Kill the goose. Okay. The, Before the goose steals my wallet and sprays water on me. And that being said, like, <laughs> no, you can gotta, you train? Yes. The <laughs> you goose? weaponize the goose. Yeah. Can, <laughs> can, can the goose yes. be a, a like a defensive like? You know, like it, like a watchdog. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But you have to always assert dominance and let the goose know that you are the alpha goose. 
If you look away first once, okay. you're fucking dead. You're dead. <laughs> okay. Right. It, they're chaotic evil. You got to like, you have to like, <laughs> you have to be domineering right. always. All the time. And that's All hard. That's hard to keep That's up. tough. Yeah, you got to keep that. Might yeah. be worth it though. I mean, a goose is a power fucking, a powerful fucking ally right there. But people, people love chickens that raise chickens. You know, I can get plenty of eggs that I know I'm going to eat. Mm-hmm. Mm. That is true. So I'm you gonna, need a duck egg. I'm gonna marry the chicken. Have a nice I'm duck gonna, egg. <laughs> you're, well, yeah. I mean, I don't like duck eggs quite as much, but you can. Uh, um, I'm sorry, I meant uh, Dutch egg. Dutch egg, <laughs> dude. I do. Mm, it's all about good eggs. Scotch egg. <laughs> Dutch eggs. Uh, I'm gonna marry the chicken. I'm gonna fuck that duck and its weird zigzag vagina. Fuck that cloaca, duck. And then I'm gonna kill that goose. I have the same answer. I think I'm going to marry the duck and fuck the chicken. <laughs> okay. Because you, you only call it, here call can I make fucker. that statement. I'm not going to isolate that and make that my ringtone for you at all. <laughs> Welcome to John Book. I'd fuck that chicken and I'd marry that duck. No, I, yeah, I'd marry the duck, fuck the chicken, kill the goose. There you go. I'm going to marry the goose. Because I think I can. Wow. Yeah. Look, it's a goose. It's like a fucking velociraptor, essentially. <laughs> I mean, good luck killing it. You might as well fucking try to kill a troll. Uh, goose is going to be way harder to kill. Um, I'm going to marry the goose. Why don't they make shotguns? I'm going <laughs> to... Yeah, I mean, don't, don't let the goose get your shotgun. <laughs> then you're fucked. Yeah, you are totally fucked. Um, and then I think I... I don't know, man. There are a lot of like cartoon ducks I like. I'm probably fuck a duck, uh, and then I do like chickens, but I like to eat them when they're dead. So I'll kill a chicken. Okay, and then you have dinner. You've solidly logiced out that answer. Thank you, thank you. You'll be hearing from my goose shortly. <laughs> uh, next, next question: Fuck, marry, kill. Kicking a pile of autumn leaves. Finally, figuring out what that song in your head was. When a cat decides to sit on your lap. I'm marrying that. Okay. <laughs> marrying the cat. Fucking that song, and I don't give a shit about leaves, so I'll kill the leaves. I don't give a shit about leaves. Give Tyler about Holland, them. 2021. <laughs> yeah. In perpetuity. 2022, 2023. That way you keep going. <laughs> leaves? Nah. You ain't got to put a date on that. That shit is eternal. <laughs> We do need, uh, 404 Air Lord Paul Pig, we do need to make you a meme of Tyler doing yeah to a cat sitting in a lap and nah, nah to leave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I pretty much got to go with that one. You're going with that too? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, all yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of following on the Tyler yeah. train today because I, I mean, he's got all the right really answers. It's really nice when you get that song mm-hmm. that's been like lodged in your brain for a while, but yeah. I mean, but, I mean what, is the, what is the song thing, though? What is that? Figuring out what song is yeah, in your like, head? When you finally get yeah. it, when you're like, that's it. Yeah, when you're trying to like, oh, what is that tune in my head? And then it bothers you all you day. And it, that out, never happens? You know? No, I always know what the tune is. I'm that's not in surprised. My head. Really? I'm not okay. surprised. Yeah, I don't. Goddamn There's a lot of times where it's like over here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't. I mean, I don't really get songs stuck I mean, in my head that I don't know what they're on. There are times where I've been like, "Hey Siri, what's this song?" And I try to sing it, and it's like da 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 da. It don't work that way. Shazam yeah. don't work like that. <laughs> so he's like, "You a tone deaf motherfucker." I do like cats. Yeah. Um, but sometimes I don't want them in my lap. That's just the truth of it. Uh, when I was working from home, I try to put actual work clothes on, you know, to get in like the mental mindset of like, I'm at work. I'm yeah. not here to fucking, you know, just randomly decide to masturbate. I'm here to work. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a thing I do in my work pants ever, but I definitely do it in these pajama pants. <laughs> so, so I try to make that clear, like delineation, right? You try to tell yeah. your dick, I, I know where you think well, you are. Well, there's a zipper, fooled you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, but then I don't know, but there's sometimes that I'm in my pajama pants and like Berlioz or house Panther fucking 30 plus pound cat with his claws is like, dude, 
I'm going to sit on your lap. And I'm like, I got to put real pants on before you do that because you are going to fuck my shit mm. up. Because you're, you're going to do that cat thing where we talked about it. Making where you biscuits. Got, making biscuits. Gonna make yeah. yeah. Well, and it's like all this weight on a fucking stilt. You're just going to be like, oh, this is a soft area. This is nice. This feels good. And you're going to fucking. 30 pound pressure point like fucking Ant-Man kicking you. And just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then Kara. Did you say getting punched with a chopstick? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kara's been doing this thing. She's a tiny ass cat, fucking skin and bones, super old, barely clinging on to life kind of deal. And it's like, all like Clementine, her dog, fucking can't stand her because I'm constantly feeding her people food mm-hmm. because I'm like, here you go, darling. I know you're going to die. It's I'm soon. You, it's soon. Yeah. And it's just like, well, I'm here's, eating here's a little bit of joy before yeah. you go out. Yeah. And so she's, and I say all this, but who the fuck knows? She might like. Pfft, Live for. I know she bugs with her and takes is all the makeup verbal off. Verbal still alive. <laughs> yeah. verbal, verbal is still alive, we, right? We had a close call with Verbal uh, a couple months ago. He had a stroke, but a bottle of steroids later, and he's fine. How he's fucking old is Verbal? Uh, he's pushing. If I I can't remember exactly. I think he's pushing eighteen. Okay. Yeah. But and he still walks funny, but he's fine now. He, he we thought he was we thought we were gonna have to have him put down eighteen. Yeah, Pixel lived to be uh twenty one. Yeah. We got Kara when you and I worked at the Sun together. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh huh. Oh, I don't wow. think quite as I don't old. Think that as... was eighteen years ago. No, 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 no. It was, it was a long time ago. <laughs> it was a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to think. Yeah, about River, that. River and Sky were seventeen. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's just you clean up after them and leave them alone. They'll live forever. I just, no, they're great. They're awesome. They're great. But Kara's doing this thing now where she'll like sleep. I'll be asleep, and then when Nikki goes to work, uh, she'll hide under the bed, and then after they leave, she comes out, and then she lays on my lap while mm. I'm sleeping. I fucking hate it mm. so much because i toss and turn a lot mm-hmm. yep a you're afraid you're lot. gonna hurt her absolutely yeah. and when i do kind of move she like digs in and mm-hmm. it's like yeah mm-hmm. so it's a rough situation uh, i got cussed at by sky cat so many times because yeah she would <laughs> yeah. get up on there and then whoop <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah That's sorry bitch man. you no not that no <laughs> but find, i st- find a different human <laughs> i still like you it like river you sleep next to me you're safe <laughs> yeah i don't know i st- Berlio sleeps next to me, but still, like in the middle of the night, I'll fuck my arm will fucking go or something, and he'll do that. He'll yell at me, <laughs> and it's like, "I'm sorry, buddy. Why don't you sleep <laughs> somewhere else, man? I don't know." <laughs> I felt bad. I told you we took we took my son's dog in for a week. Remember right, all that? Yeah, well, it went okay. Penny got used to her. Good. Her name's. This dog's name is Pixel as well. Oh, okay. Gage asked for permission to name their dog Pixel after the cat okay. that we had for so long. So I, I said, of course you can. Uh, Pixel is a mini Doberman. Okay. Teeny weeny little thing. Mini Doberman. And uh, so Penny was a bit trepidatious, drooled a little, you know. Right. I remember you saying that Penny drools around other dogs. She does. Uh, after the first couple of days, Penny was tolerant. Uh, now Pixel comes over every day with Cohen. Oh, really? Uh, so that's going well. And the times yeah. that we uh, had her overnight, uh, she would hop up onto the bed, and we normally don't do animals on the bed. Yeah. Uh, Verbal's too old. He can't get up there, and I would probably kill him. I mean, he, he's two pounds soaking wet. Yeah. True. But there. so Pixel jumps up on the bed, and Penny, Penny is a... Big dog. Big old dog. She is a big, medium-sized dog, okay? And Penny thought, well, that seems like a good idea for me. Uh Uh-huh. Ooh. Jumped up on that bed and turned around and laid laid her fat ass down on the bed. And there was no room for the two of us on this bed (laughs) at this point. We're like, I'm sorry, Penny. I know you're the dog that lives here, but you're going to have to... You've been voted off the island. You've been voted off the island. You're going to have to you, get down, sweet girl. You take girl. up the most space. Uh, <laughs> and she farts a lot, so I don't like... Ah, yeah, no. there's yeah. that, too. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, so I felt bad, because Penny Penny feels, feels like she got usurped a little bit. She Well, but, she did. Let's be honest. 
You they're to the point now where you they will kick that other dog off too. Yeah, we should have, but that <laughs> that didn't happen. <laughs> Because she's the tiny little perfect little thing that can lay here and not get in the way. Yikes. So, yeah, Penny Yikes. was Penny was I'm trying to disappointed. imagine what a mini Doberman looks like. Yeah, it's like a it's Doberman, a Doberman that only you little shrink bitty. It? Like, yeah, like well, I mean, she's she's this big. I mean, she's a tiny little thing. That's crazy. Uh, and she's a sweetie. Well, imagine this is like a corporate environment. And Penny has essentially been looked over for a promotion. She has in that sense, but you got fucking unionized. No shit. They they don't be smart. You gotta find that dog from the alley. Yeah. Seize the means out. of production. <laughs> Penny, be, Penny be like, I know a pit bull down the street that might come in handy right about now. Uh, they uh, they're they're getting getting along. The the other day she came over. Uh, both dogs were laying on the couch uh, within proximity to one another. Yeah. So that's a good thing. That now the pro- thing. now the problem is that Tiny thinks it's open season for us to get our own second dog, mm. which I do not mm-hmm. want because we mm-hmm. kind of already have a second dog because Pixel comes over every day and it's the perfect it's a, the perfect second dog because it's, it's not it's really a, yours it's grand dog <laughs> right it's the grand dog yeah. so she goes home mm-hmm. and then we're back to one dog right. and that's the way and I that's want it manageable I'm gonna yeah. just I'm gonna keep ducking that two dogs dog. a lot of dogs it's a lot unless of dogs. you live on like. A farm or something. Two do dogs a lot, is a lot of dogs, or they're both tiny dogs. You know, I have I have two small dogs. <laughs> we have one. It's too many dogs, John. Uh, they're, they're small. We have one yeah. big enough they, dog. Un- unlike okay, unlike cats, they shit outside. Yeah, but you gotta take really them nice. out there. <laughs> no, I still no. have to clean it up. You just let those motherfuckers out. Like, no. yeah, you do you eventually have to go pick it up. Pick it up. That's yeah. what we got going. On, fenced in. Yeah, you just let them. Boom. No, I'd rather pick. I'd rather pick those turds up when they come out fresh. Not for like a sen- like, not for like a sensation thing, just because it's like <laughs> it's a fetish. Just because it, I mean, I'm sure it is a fetish. It's not one of mine, but I'm sure it is a fetish. You're probably right. Um, but when you when they pick it up, you know it's gone. Otherwise, it's just like, well, huh? How many shits did my dog take last? Night? It is like that, especially with all the yeah, leaves that I was is. talking about earlier, because yeah. it's hard to tell the difference between the leaves yeah. and the shit. So yeah, what I've well, been restricted to now is I've got a leaf blower and I go through the yard and blow ahead of myself and there's some shit. There's some shit. There's some shit. <laughs> just, just pick it up when hey, it comes the, up fresh. Well, no. I don't know when it does though, because we'll put a penny out and yeah. she'll go and she may have shit, but I don't have time to go out there and look to see if she took a dump. Yeah. So yeah, there's a few piles out there and I always find them with my shoe when I'm well, mowing the yard. Well, that's the thing. That's why you don't want them out there, right? Yeah. I, I clean mean, them up what? as best I can, but they get missed. Yeah. My dogs pretty much always shit in the same like general area yeah which is nice because i, <laughs> I, I know that like me. you got that right thank you jesus what? it's on john book the meme on john book i got, got that, that going, going for me, me which, which is, is nice, nice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah so so they got their own little piles yeah they, they, there's there's an area, area that i know <laughs> to avoid until i clean it up okay the rest of the yard is pretty you're pretty much safe all right that's uh, good I don't like to risk it. Mm. I get it. I get it. But I, I also, man, but I it love, also does suck I love my time. cats. Mm. Don't get me wrong. Mm. I loved my cats. They yes. were awesome cats. But man, I cannot tell you how much I don't miss litter box smell. When we sure. like, I fucking, I love the fact that I cannot remember the last time I walked into my house and was like, Need to change the litter box. Mm. And that happened a lot yeah. <laughs> when we had cats. When yeah. Verbal, yeah, two when, cats. Okay. When Verbal sheds this mortal coil, I'm throwing a fucking office space party for that fucking litter box. <laughs> 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 I, I'm never getting another no. indoor cat because of litter boxes. Dude, they're the fucking worst, what? man. I'm sorry. They are. Terrible. Do I hate to be the rainer on parades. I am fading fast. Uh-oh. Man. Uh-oh. It's all good. As it is almost midnight. Yes, it is. Good Lord, I thought it was 9-11. <laughs> Fuckers. <laughs> I got it in there. <laughs> For anyone who's just now listening to the show, that's because Ian always looks at clocks and sees 9-11. We're not making some reference to the actual 9-11. <laughs> oh, no. I was. <laughs> uh, no, don't misunderstand me. <laughs> it is not 9 11. You're right. It's don't not. panic. It should already happen. <laughs> uh, so I'd fuck the cat on my lap, I guess. 
and then married the. <laughs> well, there's what's my about new to be ringtone. my ringtone. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. I, isolate it. Pleasure yourself. It's fine. <laughs> Just you guys here at the table. No one else listening to me. No, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, fuck the cat on my lap. Marry the song and then uh, kill the kicking leaves. Because I don't kick leaves. I mean, what am I, five? I don't do that shit. <laughs> it, must, yeah. it must be fun. I mean, he wouldn't have put it on there if it, if it wasn't a good time. There's not much else to do at the Isle of Man between a lot of, <laughs> yeah. a lot of leave-related activities. A, and apparently get COVID. Yeah. yeah. I didn't think Pack they had Pack a lunch, COVID. drive 30 minutes because that's too far, kick a pile of leaves, get COVID. That's what I, you do. It's a day. Anger, anger procam the sea god to try to cross back over to mainland. <laughs> oh, yeah. The ferry trip. <laughs> yeah. Good quiz, Ross. That was yes. a good quiz, Ross. Excellent. Thank you for sending that in. Oh, real um, quick, um, just so that the general uh, nation is aware, uh, Backlog Banisher Dane mm. did get back to me first uh, with the correct answer to last week's question about Keanu Reeves and what was the name of his band uh, the next day. Uh, or as soon as he heard that, uh, he did get to me, get with me on Discord, and he gave me the correct answer, which is Dog Star. Dog Star. Dog Star. Dog Star. Okay, but Ross was dealing so now, with now COVID in the house. I mean, we got to give him like a pass or something. I don't I know. Mean, well, Dane has gotten the Mister Puzzles title, but maybe we could do. I mean, he called him. He calls himself Dane J Puzzles Esquire yeah. or something. On hey, man, it's, your, it's it's your title to it's your title to to Ross. You can you can do something with it too. I just feel want. like I don't know, man. That's like COVID. I don't know. That's a disadvantage. Seems like it, doesn't it? Oh, well, I guess don't get COVID. Gave it up too fast. <laughs> I hope that all works out. I hope. I hope. That, yes. That your family is back to one hundred percent and and good to go. That's yes. Good. Shit's, good luck with that. Yeah, shit sucks. <clears throat> Scary to hear. What's next? You guys want to know what we're playing? Yep. Yes. Let's do that. Let's do that shit. So I'm going to go grab that batter up peripheral, All plug right. it in, okay. set it up Wild and Crazy Kid style, uh-huh. make sure my no no hole is withdrawn. Do a turn around. Don't Wild withdraw, and crazy kid baby. Style. Come on. Sure don't. It. Come on. I'm literally taking it out for air, though. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, say that prayer we all love to say. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Stop. 382. NFL quarterback club ninety six. We roll. Rolling. We roll it. Stop. Four eighty seven. Haven't done this game. I got a little Clock. asterisk though to it. I do have a name next to it Ooh. for a guest host, and I got to be honest with you, I'm still not in the, I'm still not in the comfortable area for me to like edit a remote guest. Then don't even say it. Let's re-roll. You want to re-roll it yep. then? Yeah. All right. Okay. Whammies, whammies, whammies. Stop. 628. That's got to be like the 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 T's. It is the T's. Nice Still got job. it. Yeah. Well yeah. done. That's the Tyler touch. So probably the Tyler's touch. So it starts with, is it sort of the it does not. Damn. That's more like Tyler's touch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is a sequel. There is the number two in it. Mm, mm, mm. Probably not good. Oh, I bet it's probably way better than the original. Very famous, classic, everybody's favorite puzzle game. Tetris? Tetris, Tetris 2, baby. It's Tetris 2. Tetris 2. two. How could they <laughs> improve on Tetris? I bet they did, though, because we hear a lot of good things about Everybody Tetris 2. Everybody loves Tetris 2. Whatever, but people say T2. <clears throat> Tetris 2. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, probably Tetris 2. Yeah. All right. Tetris 2. I didn't know there was one. <laughs> what? Didn't Come on, John, the famous Tetris 2. <laughs> 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 Well, uh, okay. You, yeah, okay. That's what I call two line pieces in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Tetris 2. <laughs> All 
All right. Well, thanks for listening, everybody. We'll be talking about Tetris 2. <clears throat> In the meantime, you can find our episodes on... The internet. The internet. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, Thank true. you. Because I'm, yeah, I'm <laughs> holding my head up. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? Tadpog underscore podcast on Instagram and on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, Dave Twitch. Let's talk yeah. about Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Tadpog underscore podcast. I stream on there on Sundays. It's fun. And we got that Discord. Yeah. Bit.ly slash Tadpog Discord. Check it out. Great place. It's also to be. fun. Yep. Uh, you can send us something at uh, Tadpog Studios, care of Nicole Nance, P.O. Box 3785, Paducah, Kentucky, 42002. Call and leave us a voicemail, 270-883-2555. Uh, most importantly, we got that Patreon. Patreon. <laughs> we do. Do you have information for that pulled up? I do. Okay, great. So, uh, riding that penny train, thank you, Jonathan Martinez. Toot, toot, toot. Uh, holy fuck, Taryn. Taryn? God damn. Tearing it up. Tearing up Patreon. <laughs> I think that's usurper Taryn Landon. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, Coming in hot. Hey. For a month, she said. <laughs> Sounds fine to me. What's the what's her full title, Tyler? Something wasn't it Princess Consuela with yeah. Hammock, Hammock yeah. Taryn Hammock. Landon. Thank you. And then uh New Pledger, the mayor of Soso. Thank you, the mayor of Soso. Excellent. Royalty up in here. <laughs> That's uh yeah, that is royalty. An elected or an appointed office. But uh, John, given by God, John. John, what's our theme song? Oh, well, it's uh Moves. By, Who's that by? By uh, Sycamore Drive. Yeah. Where can a link to that track be found? In the show notes at tadpog.com. Perfect. Excellent. I haven't had to do Excellent. that in a long time. It's been a minute. <laughs> it's been a minute since you've done it. Yeah. Uh, how are you guys going to close this out? As our favorite uh, member of the Adams family. All right. Do you want to? Do the executive producers before we do that? Uh, yeah, oh, I do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that I don't have to good record job. something before that, the, that, the next that thing. Yeah, that'd be good on the Patreon. Man, Ian Chandler, fucking safety net coming in. I know, man. We're all over here fucking uh, amateur hour. And Ian's coming in fucking clutch. Uh, yeah, we have uh, these are the folks who donate $20 or more a month, our executive producers. And this episode was executive produced by. Princess Banana. Princess Consuela. Princess Consuela. Banana, Banana Hammock. Hammock. Taryn Landon. Mm-hmm. Usurper Grimm. God Emperor Alex Pena. Plinko Nick Price. Temporal Eternal Savior Cubicle Monkey. Cousin, I'm fucking, I've been struggling all fucking night. I can say that, though. <laughs> for whatever that's, that's reason. The that's the trip. That's why. That's the it law is. of a cool energy. It's, it's, it's like the trade off. The, the, the Piaku Gun exchange, has yes. 360 vision except for one degree directly behind it. But they can instead choose to focus on that one degree and fuck up everything else. You know what? You took the words out of my mouth. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got Cousin David Galino, um, Cthusius Jeff Miners, Steve Dixon, <coughs> Clambro Cody Phillips, Bantha Master, Executive Producer Dig Dougie, Gamebug Prime Nathan Eaton, Time Lord Josh Edwards, Matt Gentile, a.k.a. Gentle G, congratulations on your marriage, Sick Jake, we're sorry you fell for the marketing, Magical Sleeper, a.k.a. Big Dick Pie Baker Chris Vaughn, Pinball Archmage Chris Adler, I'm sorry you couldn't be on this episode, Platinum Member Brett Miller, Sandwich Pope Phil Hawkins, Nate from Utah, First Time Caller, Drink Smith, Joey Webster, Big Daddy Paul Anderson, Master Cycle Baron Kevin Link, General Kenobi Massacre, Barbecue Baron Andrew Rowland, Backlog Banisher Dane. Trim those sideburns, Drew. <laughs> I haven't seen what that's in reference to. It, uh, yeah, that's a good Simpsons episode. That's a real good Simpsons episode. Thanks, guys. I yeah, appreciate it. Thanks. Good shit. Very good time. Yeah, John, thanks I, for coming on. I love yeah, all of, of you. All of you. Me. It's always do you have best. cancer? <laughs> what? You don't have cancer, do you? Man. No. Okay, good. Nope. Just, just saying really it's been a while since <laughs> we <laughs> recorded like this. <laughs> all right, good. Whew. It's like the year in review. It which is, is coming up. Bit. Fuck, it is. Oh, Damn. Oh, my God. Yeah. Wow. Well, this yeah. has been, I hope you enjoyed our year in review. <laughs> <laughs> Suckers. <laughs> this is like the, pre, gotcha. this is the pregame year in review. All right, let's record it right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, until next time. <laughs> Tropical, Tropical, Tropical Capricorn. Capricorn. Homicidal maniacs dressed like <laughs> everyone else. <laughs> Who are you, Go, Tyler? Gomez. Gomez. Gotcha. John? Gomez. Gomez. Okay. Yeah, so two Gomez's and two Wednesdays. Huh? That's right. <laughs>
Is, is it me or I'm still smelling Wagyu beef lays? <laughs> Oh God, don't don't put that don't put don't that put in my head. Don't put that evil on me. <laughs> I do smell it. I think I must have gotten some on the phone. But it's just the, my balls. I was listening. I rub my balls. I just around around balls. You got here. So your balls smell like dog food. I didn't, dog I didn't food? shower for like four food. or five days. Mm, got them real just good. Just how I like yeah. it. Mm, rub it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> go, go get the kibble, daddy. <laughs>